to come on through. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, coming, bro. All right. Let me remove this here. Whether someone else is can or not doesn't strengthen your own position. Yeah, I'm here to demonstrate to you. You've got no legs to stand on me. All right. Well, let's let's see. Come on, man. It don't take that long to find the verse. Oh, it it does. It's not about finding the verse. Uh, look, I'm not I'm not a Jew. I don't know where they understand this verse. I'm going to read where they understand it. It's their book. Wait, uh, wait. So you're not reading the verse? I'm going to look at the verse and look how it's been understood. You look. You've read the verse and understood it. How you've chosen to understand it? Yeah. I've, I've chosen to understand it how it reads. That's, I'll read that's it again. I'll read it again. Okay. So here it is. You're looking at it or are you looking at interpretation? What are you looking at? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the how so the Jews. You have it. Can you read it? Oh, okay. Listen to me. There's no point me just reading it. Yeah. Yes, it is. I, I want you to just read no, the no, text. No, it's not. No, 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 no. I could read the text as you read the text. And then you I'm can tell me. You're killing me, man. I, I, I don't know why you're, what you're laughing for. All right. So this is, I'm a Muslim, yeah? Is this book my book? No. Is this book the book yeah, of the Jews? Yes, it is your book, actually. How is this my book? You're a Muslim. You can't, you have to believe in the books, don't Which you? Which books? Which books? All, all of them. All that was being revealed by before the Quran. This wasn't revealed. Oh Lord. Okay, it wasn't revealed. No way. Do you think the Do you think so, the Old so Testament Isaiah, and the Isaiah forty nine six? Wait, can you just you, read? You, you keep this. I'm not going to allow you just to say anything. Look, can just you just honest. read the no, no, no. I, I think there's been a miscommunication. You know, I don't believe the Old Testament and the New Testament are revelation, don't you? Uh, no worries. No, but you know that, don't you? I, I understand that. Right. I so when that. you say you to me, when I say when I say to you, one second. No, I'm not. Okay. Where, where does my Quran say I have to believe in the Old Testament? Uh, all over the place. We'll get there. I promise. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, it says, I'll show, but I'll, I'll show you all of that. Just oh, 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 okay. God logic. You're gonna show me nothing. Yeah, you're gonna show me nothing because I know what the Quran says. Yeah, okay. I'm the Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You yes. think you know what Sam says? I'm, you, and so and Sam says. you think you know what the Quran says? I'm the shape. You, you don't. And I'm gonna show you what your Quran says. I'm you're the, the you're the pupil. I'm the teacher, mate. Okay, we'll see. Can you read the verse? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it now. Okay. So this is, and he said, so this is, one second. Come on, man. It doesn't take oh, Okay, so 14.9. Listen a while unto me and hearken, ye people for far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. So you think this is Jesus being spoken about, yeah? Of course. It's the Messiah. The bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel. Whoa. That's Jacob. No, it's not. Who, who is Israel? That's the Messiah. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. No, he, but I'm, re I'm reading it. Thou art my yeah. servant, O Israel. So yeah. it's talking about Jacob. One second. No, and it's who talking I... about the Messiah. You're, you're about to see well, who, is, who is Israel? Who is Israel? I'm, I'm about to show you. You have Israel. You have the individual Israel, who's the Messiah, right. who represents Israel. Then you have Israel, the nation, who that okay. individual. Oh, oh, okay. So let me just read this again. This is mm -hmm. Isaiah speaking, yeah. And mm -hmm. he hath made so. So this is what. Uh, this is Isaiah speaking prophetically with the Messiah. Right, 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 right. So this is this is um, him speaking, yeah. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people. The Lord hath called me from the womb. Okay. So you think this is Jesus speaking, yeah? Yes. Okay. So this is, let's imagine this is Jesus speaking. From the bowels of my mother hath he men mentioned me, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant. So now this means God has said to Jesus, Thou art my servant, O Israel. Correct. Well, Jesus is not Israel. Jesus is Israel. No, the Jesus Messiah, is not Israel. Messiah Jacob is Israel. Jacob is Israel. Okay, keep reading. We're gonna. I'm about to show. All right. You. All right. Reading. So in context, it's talking about Jacob, not Israel. It's not. It's talking uh, about the Messiah who's identified as Israel. Well, well it can't. Read. It can't be where God is saying to this per individual, "Thou art my servant, O Israel." Okay. Just if I promise you, Hamza, it all gets cleared up if you just keep reading. I promise. Okay. Then I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord. And my work with God. So God is going to judge this person, yeah? 
You know, he's okay. not going to judge this person. He approves him. And My rewards. judgment is with the Lord. Meaning, what does that even it, that means? Means, to, means his approval. Means it means I'll be judged by God. No, it's, okay. no, it's not. It is. I'll... Uh, yeah, surely my judgment works, is with the Lord the and my good. work and my work with my God. Does Jesus have a God? Just, just keep going. Yeah, no, the no, Father no. Is not, according to his flesh. Yeah. So, so, so the Father is the God of Jesus. Correct, according to. So the you flesh. believe God has a God? According to the flesh, of course. What does that Jeremiah mean? thirty-two verse twenty-seven: God is the God of all flesh. Jesus, who is God, also took on flesh. Uh, without the flesh, himself, without the flesh, the Father became his God. Oh, uh, and uh, without the flesh, is without he still the flesh, God? He He's not. He's not the God of Jesus over His divine nature. They have the same. So divine. without the flesh, what is He? They are. So there's two natures, and so you have the Father and the Son who share the same divine essence. Therefore, God, the Father, can't be God over His divine nature. What, what do you mean two natures? Who's got two natures? The Son does. But you're you're deflecting again. How no, 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 no. Look. We, are we here being honest here? Are we here trying to understand we're, things here? We're, we're, right, 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 right. Honest, so what you can't do, what you can't do is just say things to support deflecting. your argument. No, no, not at all. I'm not, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm not saying it. you're asking questions that are unknown. No, no, no. What I'm, no, no. In the incarnation. No, no, no. What I'm saying is your whole position is based on your assumptions, which don't hold up to scrutiny. What? I don't have any assumptions here at all. Yes, you if do. You, I'm telling you, you. I'm telling you now. I've I just read. You just read. You got it. I've, I've just read three chapters so far, and this can't be referred you to Jesus. Verses? You read three verses. I've read three chapters. Yeah, I started at forty-nine one, uh, forty-nine, and I'm at forty-nine three, forty-nine four now. I've, I've read four <laughs> chapters, and so four, far four verses, four verses. Yeah, four chapters. Oh, sorry, yeah, four paragraphs, four paragraphs. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. What I'm saying so far, this is not about Jesus. Anyway, let me continue. Well, keep going. <laughs> and now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. To bring who? Jacob. Wait, I thought I thought that was Jacob. One second. Hmm. I thought that was Jacob. Well, look, look, can I can I make something very, very plain to you? Sure. This this old testament, yeah. It makes many, many mistakes, errors. It <laughs> well, well, it does. It does. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, no, no. I don't know why you're laughing. It, it, it does. It doesn't get chronology right. Sometimes it gets the stories back to front. So it, it, it messes it doesn't up. Help the... you. This doesn't help okay. You. I, I'll tell you why it does because it's contradicted itself already. Really? So it doesn't surprise me. Yes, oh. of course it has. Okay. So, 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 Israel, second, second. so the person who's second, Israel second. is supposed to bring back Jacob. So he's not Jacob himself, right? Okay, and Jesus has never been called Israel. He's being called Israel right there. He's never been called Israel. You're right assuming there. it's no, no. You need him to be called Israel for this point. When has Jesus been called Israel? Right there in Isaiah 49. O other than other than here, where else? Doesn't need to be anywhere else. Well, it does because you're implying it's talk about him where it doesn't well, mention. That's what it says. It doesn't say Jesus there. Well, so Israel. how about this, Hamza? Can we agree so far that it's not Jacob himself? Can we agree? We can agree so far this is back to front. Yes, we can agree with that. So but we can also it. agree is that Jesus has never been called Israel. Well, and you're just going. making him, you're just special pleading now to well, say, oh, well, yeah, yeah, well, on this occasion he was. Never ever mm -hmm. before, never before called Israel, but on this occasion it's it's it's, it's Jesus. Come on, man. Okay. So, so, <laughs> anyway. so, so, for, so for example. And now said uh, the Lord that for me. Wait, 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 just really, just really quick, Hamza. Just, I just want to show you how bad that argument is. In well, chapter 61, verse, do you believe that Ahmed and Muhammad are the same person? Yeah, no issue. Okay. So in chapter 61, verse 6, which is what we're talking about, right? It says that Jesus says that Ahmed will come after him. You say that that's Muhammad. Where in the Quran elsewhere is Muhammad identified as Ahmed? Oh, see, here's the thing you see. We don't just refer to the Quran. We have the Quran and Sunnah, isn't it? Uh, I don't, I don't, why, why, are you, why are you throwing your arms in the air uh, like you've just done something? This is tough. This, this is what I'm saying. The inconsistency. Was not, you what, have, what was, you, what, what, you what was inconsistent? Have, what was inconsistent? You, you're, you're, you're trying to say that there's a problem with Jesus only being referred to uh, as Israel one time, and if no time before that or after that, then that means there's a problem. No, I'm you asking have, you. No, you don't no, have no. Muhammad being identified as Ahmed. In the no, no, but there's a difference here. You see, God is telling us that this is who He's talking about. Yeah. Ah, where? In the Quran. Yeah, is Quran is 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 is, is, is where in the is, where I got you. Where in the Quran does Allah say Ahmed is Muhammad? That's a good question. Sixty-one six, really? Yes. One second. See, here's the thing with the difference between me and thee. Yeah, 
Avery, okay. is, is, is the fact that if I don't know something, I will stop and listen and reflect and read and, and understand it. Yeah. I what that. I won't do, what I won't do is keep building my arguments on false premises, which you've done consistently. I haven't done that yet. I think that's what you, you've you, been doing. You, you have done that. You have done that now. Okay. Whatever uh, you say. I can help you out because remember, I'm the sheikh, so I can help you. The answer no, is you, nowhere. You're the pupil. Okay. Uh, so this is, what, this, this, this is what 61 6 says I am the messenger of Allah unto you. Yeah. So this is, um, this is, oh, let me just make sure I'm on this right. It's Jesus. Just bear with me a second. Bear, bear with me one second. Oh, Bismillah. Bismillah ar Rahman. 61, 6, yeah. Uh, clear Quran. Okay, okay. Bismillah. Uh, okay, uh, in the name of Allah, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth glorifies God, for he alone is the Almighty, all wise. O believers, why do you say what you do? not do how despicable is it in the sight of god that you say what you do not do surely god loves those who fight in his cause in solid ranks as if they were on concrete structure remember O prophet when moses said to his people oh my people why do you hurt me when you already know i am god's messenger to you so when they persistently deviated god caused their hearts to deviate for god does not guide the rebellious people and remember when jesus son of mary said oh children of israel I am truly God's messenger to you, confirming the Torah which came before me and giving good news of a messenger after me whose name will be Ahmed. Yet when the prophet came to them with clear proofs, they said, this is pure magic. Who who does more wrong? So w there's only one prophet that came after Jesus, which would be Muhammad, isn't it? Uh, well, that's according to you. But where does the Quran say? You say no, no, you, have, you have to well, no, that, right? No, 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 no. The Quran is clear that the prophet that came after Jesus was Muhammad. Well, see, but again, you have to infer this. Because nowhere in the Quran does it say that Ahmed is Muhammad. So does it say? Does it say that Prophet Muhammad was the the messenger after Jesus or not? Uh, where does the Quran say that? No, does it? I, I, not to, not to my knowledge. Yeah, but your knowledge is very limited when it comes to this stuff. Sure, so is yours. You, well, no, 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 no. <sighs> you don't even know about your own stuff, mate. I don't know why you're trying to say I don't know. I'm willing so to does learn. the Quran say that Jesus came after Jesus? Well, I, 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 listen, I'm not, Jesus? I, 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 listen, I'd have to make your argument for you, do I? <laughs> you you don't know the answer. <laughs> you don't know. Well, you, you said you could be honest and reflect. So reflect on this. Does okay. the Quran say Muhammad came after Jesus? Show me that. Well, we just showed you 616. But anyway, one well, 616 says Ahmed, not Muhammad. Oh, one second, one second. Bear so second. apparently, we might have two prophets that came after Jesus. Somebody named Ahmed just and then Muhammad. A second. Okay, so this is from the Hadith. Uh, hadith? Yeah. I didn't ask about the Hadith. Okay. Do you understand what Hadith are? I understand what the Hadith are. We're talking right. about. You, the oh, okay, okay, first thing. Do you understand what the Quran is? It's supposed to be Allah's words in Revelation, right? Right. You, is, right. Is what, what, what is it? What, what, what is the Quran? Uh, just from what I hear from you guys, a revelation from Allah. No, the Quran is man's past, present. Uh, um, warn, sorry, a reminder of man's past. It's a guide for man's present, and it's a warning of man's future. Yeah, it's not a biography of Muhammad or anything like this. Okay. No worries. We, I'm not asking for a biography. I'm no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example. Okay. What the Hadith is is what the, the actual Prophet says with regards he's a messenger of god so oh, what yeah. he says is wahi what he says his revelation when it comes to these things do you okay. understand so, so is the hadith then equal with the quran okay it if it's sahih if it's from the prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him mm -hmm. then equal to the quran it's revelation it's classed as revelation we accept it as it's come from allah yes so it, so the answer is yes the hadith that are sahih from muhammad are we, equal to the quran we can accept that the prophet muhammad spoke with uh, equaling rulings, yes. Equaling, so equaling rulings as of the Quran. Yeah, just one second. Let me just That's read this. One second. One second. Uh, narrated by Muhammad bin Jabbar bin Muaytim, from his father, the Messenger of Allah said, "I have some names. I am Muhammad. I am Ahmed. I am Al Mahi. 
the one whom Allah wipes out disbelief. I am Al-Hasiyah, the one from the people who are gathered at his feet, and I am Al-Aqib, the one after whom there is no prophet. So the Prophet Muhammad identifies himself as Ahmed. Okay. So Allah doesn't, though. Okay. The the, does, right? uh, 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 okay. When the when the prophet speaks, mm -hmm. yeah, we believe that he's he's a messenger of God. He's a prophet speaking. So he's mm -hmm. speaking on behalf of God. Yeah, he's a messenger of God. Do you understand? Wait, so he uh, doesn't lie. He doesn't make stuff up. For example. Well, that, I I know that's the priest's supposition. Well, so, but, but you, if I'm, you're, look, okay. I'm just, I, if you're if you're to trying to question me about my beliefs, then well, you have to challenge me on what I believe. Well, no, well, no. I I understand what you believe, but this is what I'm saying. All you, right. So uh, are you, at first you said, at first you said, what's my presupposition? Allah, look, at first you said Allah is the one who tells you this, and now we just found out that it's not Allah who tells you this. No, no, no. Muhammad. We haven't found that out. Okay, one second. No, we haven't found that out right now. I'm still looking at that. But I've just okay. told you. First thing is that um, Allah says in the Quran of a servant coming after Jesus called Ahmed, and Muhammad identifies as Ahmed. Okay. okay, which gives us justifiable reason to believe he is the Ahmed spoken about in the Quran. That's the no, first no, thing. No worries, you can, you can right. do that. Now, but just because Allah even if he, one was was he, right? even if Allah in the Quran doesn't doesn't establish that, mm -hmm. if Allah reveals that through His Messenger, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. Well, well, it is a problem. It is. Why is it a problem? I, well, because according to you know the Quran, Allah says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. No. The Quran also says there's many ambiguous things. Which means that there's a contradiction. Thank you, Hamza. No, no, it doesn't mean. It means some verses are clear and some things um, you need people of knowledge to understand. Right. So when it, when there's actually... And, and, Allah, and, and you know the irony? Allah says the mischievous ones, like you, will ignore the explicit and will dig in the ambiguous. Well, well, well let's talk about this for a second. You just said... Which that, doesn't well, surprise Quran... me. Wait, wait, Which doesn't on. surprise me because well, well, Christians can't well, recognize explicit well, statements. Well, Hamza, hold on, hold on a second. Let's All actually right. dissect what you just said. You yeah. just proved to me that the Quran is a contradiction. When the Quran says it's not a contradiction, it's a, but hold on, though. Let me ask you this: Can the Quran be a detailed explanation of everything, while at the same time have things that are unexplained and unclear? If the Quran says that some things are clear and mm -hmm. some things are ambiguous. Mm -hmm. And the and the disbelievers and mischief makers will ignore the clear and will dig in the ambiguous. Mm -hmm. It's not no. If you're well, saying e every single th if Allah says everything in the Quran, you'll understand clearly, plainly. That it it doesn't say that. Well, it 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 says that to make things clear. It well, doesn't no. say it. Uh, let me be clear about the verse. It's chapter everything. twelve, verse one hundred eleven. Oh, well, yes, well. it says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. So with regards to what? Me, huh? With regards to what? What's in the Quran? The Quran says. Say that. Where, where yes, does it say verse, that? Yeah, chapter twelve, verse one eleven. Come on, man! You gonna learn your book today, man? My friend, no disrespect, yeah. You don't know what you're talking about, yeah. And the same thing, you, don't, you don't know the same thing. When I say to you, for example, what does the word only mean? Yeah, you're gonna be floundering. Okay. Because you don't get pinned to words. Nice Was it chapter, chapter 12? No, it's not a nice try. Chapter what? 12 what? Verse chapter 11. 12, verse 111, the very last verse. One, one, so, okay. It says, in their stories. Okay. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. This message cannot be a fabrication. Rather, it is a confirmation of previous revelation. A detailed explanation of all things, a guide, and a mercy for people of faith. Yeah? Boom. So I... No, it's not talking about every single aspect of what's in the Quran. It's talking about what's happened in the past, present, and what's coming in the future. Exactly. The people, so, so the things that the Quran it, mentions about no, the past, present, and the future. There's nowhere in that verse. That, right? This is the problem, you see. You're listening to too much to Sam Shimon, yeah? Nowhere in that it's verse, Shimon, nowhere in that verse does it mention that the Quran explains everything. No. Okay. okay, let's pause here. When it says this message... It's... Ref you ignore the whole paragraph and you read the last chapter. No, last we're, 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 no, Hamza, listen. We're identifying what it's talking about. When it says this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what okay, came before. Okay, okay, one second. What is this message? One what second. is this message? We only, what was I we only sent you before, oh, Prophet. Men inspired by us from among the people of each society have the deniers not traveled through the land to see what the end of those destroyed before them. And surely the eternal home of the hereafter is far better for those mindful of God. Will you not then understand? And when the messengers despaired and their people thought the messengers had been denied help, our help came to them at last. We then saved whoever we... What are you doing? 
Oh, I'm stirring so you, the pot, sorry. What are you doing that for? Because uh, I'm cooking you. You think that's cooking me? Yeah. I'm I sure. think you're deluded, mate. All right, all right, all right. Y- yeah, you, you're deluded, mate. What are you anyway, reading? I'm reading the Quran. What 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 verse are you reading? Um, okay. The two verses before what you read. Okay. Go ahead, get the context. It's not, yeah, it's not yeah. Listen, listen, I know you're little cheerleaders in the crowd. Like, ah, you smoked him. Uh, you're talking about not, this, not, not, Every, Everyone has seen, as soon as I mention Christianity, you run for the hills. No. Run for the hills. The Completely I, run for the hills. Yeah. You, you can't stand up on, you can't defend your own position. Yeah, this is why. Okay. Look, and, look, and look, 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 look at the difference. Look at the difference, right? When I do a show, it's challenge Islam. Where's your show, challenge Christianity? Because you can't I, defend I, I have it. A you, haven't, you haven't watched. You just just two, it, look, mate. just two streams ago, I said Christianity is true, and here's why. And I invited non Christians to come. Really? Just two streams ago. Okay. Well, I do a stream every two weeks, challenge Islam. Yeah. Okay. You come with your argument. Why you don't come? Don't say you're not aware of it. Oh, yeah. I, I am aware of it. But I know I've you're aware of it. I, I know I've you're aware it. of it. I know Sam's aware of it. I know David Wood is aware of it. Yeah. yeah? But well, you don't we, come. I, I always go on, on Muslim platforms, man. You don't, they, yeah, but you don't come to the arena. Why not? Well, I get kicked, muted, and stuff like that. No, no, no. We don't kick you, mute. If you come on making sense, making good arguments, I want good I'm arguments. Good. You know what I'm I've been impressed good. with? You know what I've been impressed with recently? And I, I, I can't believe I'm saying these words, right? I've been impressed with Sam Shimon recently. Yeah, oh, I'll really? tell you what. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I was shocked. The reason I'm saying it is because he's the only Christian I've seen try to defend Christianity. Really try to really defend it. He would mm-hmm. challenge, you know, when I bring up the authorship, he would try to show me that this argument's dead. Yeah. He would grasp that argument and try and rinse me on it. So when a Muslim sees me shut up on that argument, they'll realize that this argument's no good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been watching him and I'll be honest with you, apart from his nastiness, his little, you know, old Mohammed Mountain Aisha and all this crap. Yeah. You know, but he's a Catholic, and you know Mary was twelve according to Catholic Encyclopedia. Anyway, no, no story. she was not. Come on, Hamza, you're better. Oh, in the Hamza, Catholic Encyclopedia, you're, you're, you're supposed to be better. Than that, bro. The Catholic Encyclopedia. No, she was 12, it doesn't say that. In the Catholic Encyclopedia, you're yeah, not in Catholic. The Catholic Encyclopedia it says that there are uh, uh, unreliable sources that say such. So the Catholic Encyclopedia is not reliable. You didn't just hear what I just said. I did. You said you said in the Catholic Encyclopedia. Oh, so you're saying that the Catholic Encyclopedia is rejecting this idea. Correct. Okay. We'll see about <laughs> Anyway, all right. Uh, before, I'm surely the eternal home of the hereafter is far better for those mindful of God. Will you not then understand? And when the messengers despaired and the people thought the messengers have been denied help, our help came to them at last. We then saved whoever we willed, and our punishment is never averted from the wicked people. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. The message cannot be a fabrication, rather it is a confirmation of previous revelation, a detailed explanation of all things, a guide and a mercy for the people of faith. So right. first of all, it's talking about a justification of the previous revelation, the previous messengers. No worries. Yeah? And, and then establishing the position of Muhammad as being another messenger. Correct. And, and that through these messengers, you can learn about your life. You can learn about what's going to happen when you die and, and how to live your life. It Very doesn't tough. say it's a detailed explanation of the Quran. Now, I All can right. show you. Right. So let me show you what the Quran does pause, say. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. What, what is, when it says this message is not a fabrication, oh, what is the oh, this oh, message? Oh, oh, oh. The message of God. The message through all of his messengers. What specifically is that? That God is one and worship him. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, says, yes. Okay, one look. Second, second. It says this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation okay. of what came before. What oh, is okay. that? Okay. What is that? We, we okay. Again, my paradigm. We Muslims do not read that verse and think it's saying every verse of the Quran is explained. I, we, I, don't, we, I, we don't believe that. My, We've never been told that. We've never my, understood my, as that. My, my, right. Hamza, so so, you, look, look, so look, trying look. to show one second. One second. Look. <clears throat> one second. Trying to show me that the Quran is saying that when we don't believe it's saying that. Mm-hmm. You're the Christian coming to tell us Muslims how we should understand that. Okay, so this is my right. this is my point. I'm challenging your understanding. I'm showing you how your understanding is wrong to what your own text says. So when we break down the verse, I don't care about you being a Muslim and therefore you just have this hierarchy when it comes to interpreting your no, verses. No, no, that's not me. No, we're no, going no. to see if your we're going to see if your understanding matches the text. So when we say when when the verse says and we're breaking this down, this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what came right. before. What is it talking about? Okay, what is talking, it oh, okay. it's talking about? about the idea of messengers being sent by God, who were rejected by the people. Who it, it, it clearly says that. Anyway, what let me read you this verse. 
Look, this, this is first. the confirmation of what came before. Let, let what me read. Conf confirming prophets have come before. What does that? What confirms prophets that came before? The what Quran. Thank the Quran you. Is. Thank right. you. So, so that this but, message. But that that's verse not is not it. saying that verse is not saying every single verse of the Quran. Okay, but because okay, let's not every pause. single verse of the Quran is referring to messages well, that came let's before. Pause. Let's get there. Anyway, so we understand. Let's read this. Least, Let me make it easy for you. Let me make it easy for you. Wait, wait, no. please. No, please. no, no, no. I'm gonna land and I'm gonna let you talk. I promise. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this to you. This is what we believe as Muslims. No, listen. Don't straw my position. God like Avery, Avery. Listen, listen, listen. Avery, relax. Relax, Avery, Avery, Avery. I told you, you're a pupil. I'm a teacher. No, no one can hear us. You're coming to if coming to Islam, right? No one can hear us. So let me read this. Hamza, no one can hear us. You've muted me. I just want to make sure that we have. I just want to make sure that we have the foundation set that what it's talking about. Is the Quran correct? Right. The message. No. 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 Let's talk about the message from God throughout all the previous prophets. What anyway. is confirming that came before it? Oh, okay. Did you not hear you what just I said? said it's the Quran. Now you're switching up. Look, look, here's the thing you see. No, no, no. I read you the context. It's talk about the previous messengers. And each messenger came and they were rejected by their people and mocked by their people. And Allah's confirming that this is the same message of God from the previous revelation. But just let me read you this verse. It clears everything up for you. Because this is our position. Are you ready? Yeah. So it's not talking about the Quran? Okay. He is, this is chapter, uh, this is Surat al-Imran. Wait, why are you chapter. changing? Because uh, this is, this will help you. No, 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 no. There's no change. This will, there's, this there's will no stop change. you. This there's will no stop change. you. This will there's stop no you. I need to oh, okay. know what it's talking about. You're saying it's not. I'll it. What if, is if it you read, about? if you hear this verse, it's Surah Al-Imran, and then you read that, you'll understand it's not. No, 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 no. I need to know. It's already been established in the Quran before this verse. What chapter is? What verse is this? What? Wait. What? 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 What chapter is this? Okay. This is chapter, what, okay. What's in chapter three. In chapter three, it's no, established. No. Answer the question. What has been established? Okay. In chapter three of the Quran. Why are you not answering the question? I'm I, I am answering the. What, do you want me to answer it, or do you want yeah, me to what, not answer with, it? What has? Well, been shut up and let me answer then. Yeah, what has been established? Oh, okay, so I'm trying to say, what did I say? I, I'm, I'm trying to understand Right, right, well, shut up and then I can speak. No, no, but you just said it has been established. What? Yeah, happened? well, you shut up and then I can speak. But you're not even giving me anything. Well, shut up, let me speak. You're not giving me anything, Hamza? Well, just shut up and let me speak, then. Uh, dang, did my phone just die? Oh, dang, my phone just died. Yeah, no, one, one second, one second. Okay. Now, so why I, I, I need an answer to the question. Well, bro. I was saying what has been established in the Quran in chapter three. Yeah, it says this: He is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, the book of which some verses are precise; they are the foundation of the book, while others are elusive. Those with deviant hearts follow the elusive verses, seeking to spread doubt through their false interpretations, but none grasp their full meaning except Allah. As those well grounded in knowledge, they say, "We believe in this Quran." It is all from our Lord, but none will be mindful of this except people of reason. So Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 3, in clear, explicit way, that this book, some verses are precise and some are not. And the mischief makers will dig in the ones that are not precise and ignore the precise. Yeah? Standard. So once we read this in chapter 3, by the time we get to chapter, what was it? Chapter 12, we know that the Quran has already told us that some of these verses are precise. So when he speaks about this, we know it's speaking about something else. Then we read the context and we see it's talking about previous messengers and confirming that when they came and they were mocked by their people, and the, this is a continu continuation of the same message. It's a very, very simple, straight thing. We Muslims have never, ever made the claim, ever, that the Quran has the answer to all things. No Muslim has ever said the Quran claims it has the answer to all things. It's only Christians that do this. Got it. All right. Thank Good. you for that. So Good. his argument, everybody, make, make sure you pay attention because he doesn't know. He doesn't know that he just he just confirmed that the Quran has a contradiction. It's not a contradiction. You don't know you did this. I let you no, go. It's on. only only through your interpretation. I, can you not, make it a contradiction? Can I let you go without interruption? I let I let you work, man. You're not going to gaslight you, me like that. Well, then relax. <laughs> well, don't say things I didn't say. Don't don't act I, I like. Say, I, okay, okay. Go speak, speak, speak. Go on, speak, speak, speak. speak, speak, speak. Go on. Thank you. I didn't okay. say this is what you said. Okay. I'm I'm at the conclusion of what you're saying. What you said leads to this conclusion that the Quran has a contradiction. You're 
saying that the Quran established already. You listening? I need to make sure you pay attention. Are you are you here with me, Hamza? Yeah, I'm here. I, I don't, like said, don't interrupt. Well, yeah, I just, but I want to make sure that you're paying attention too. I want what you. What do you think engage. I'm doing? What do you think I'm doing? Okay, I, don't, I don't know, man. You know, he's looking away. I, I, I'll be honest with you. At this moment in time, all I'm hearing is the parents in Charlie Brown, but continue. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> how, how, old, how old are you, Avery? <laughs> how, how old are you? <laughs> you know the school. Oh, how old man. are you, though? Seriously. How old I'm, are you? I'm 29. I, how do you know Charlie Brown and how the adults sound named Charlie Brown? Hey, you know, stuff came out in the 90s and stuff like that in early 2000s. A little run. Really? Yeah. But you know what I'm talking about, yeah? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Good man. So, so look. So, oh, oh, by the way, just, 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 I'll be honest with you. Are you are sincere in your questions, aren't you? Yeah. I'm always sincere. Right. Then bring, bring I, up John, because bring up John, because he's much more knowledgeable on in Jeel and all these things. Yeah. And we won't tag team. I won't get involved if he's just talking or whatever. But if you want to have all the answers and all angles covered, bring up John as well. Okay. So. What I'm saying, what you, what you said was, is that the Quran already established. Did you did, did you mute me then when I spoke? No, I didn't. Okay, you're gonna bring John up. Yeah, if I see him, where is he? he is he backstage? I don't see. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, bring him, man. Okay. He'll, he'll help you understand it. Hey, they do jump. There we go. So, like... <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. So look, you said that the Quran established. That there's already clear and unclear verses in the <coughs> right? It already established that. No problem. But where we're where we're at now is where the Quran now contradicts that statement. Because we have the Quran saying that there is nothing that's unclear, that it's detailed and explained about everything. That's what the Quran says in chapter 12, verse 111. Now, this is where I was trying to get you, like, uh, like trying to for us to get an understanding. So that we can have a foundation so that we're not just talking past each other. In chapter 12, 111, do you deny that it's talking about the Quran? It says that this, this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what came before. Do you deny that it's talking about the Quran right there? Or do we or are we on the same page that yes, it's talking about the Quran? I, I would have to look more into it. I, I would say no. Okay. Sorry, just give me, the, give me the verse. Sorry, I, I didn't... Uh, the verse is, I, the verse is chapter uh, 12, chapter 12, verse 111. 11. So what's the question, sorry? We're, we're, we're disputing on whether or not it's, the Quran is referring to itself or not. So where it says this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what came before, I'm saying that it's talking about the Quran. Hamza is a little iffy on this right now. No, no, no. He asked me in this verse, right? Just so mm -hmm. I reiterate, uh, he said, he says the Quran says, this is his claim. He says the Quran makes the claim. It's an explanation of everything that's written in it. So I asked him, where does the Quran make such a claim? Because I know that what the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, where it says some verses are precise, some verses are ambiguous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm confused when he brings this verse. I'm thinking, wait a minute. And then he's trying to imply, because the Quran is saying here, it's a detailed explanation of all things, it must be talking about the Quran, which would make it a contradiction. So this was a contradiction he's brought, that in one place the Quran says um, it's not precise, and then in this case, even though in the previous place where it says not precise, it also says um, it's precise and in parts and not in other parts. Um, so it's, it's even even that one statement, it's already refuted the whole idea of a contradiction. But anyway, so he's come to this verse. He's come to the last the last uh, surah. Sorry, sorry, the last chapter of the whole surah, and then he's Let taking it. right. So here's what I said. So this is what I was left with. Yeah. So I read this. We only sent you before a prophet, men inspired by us from the people of each society. Have the deniers not traveled through the land to see what was the end of those destroyed before them? And surely the eternal home of the hereafter is better for those mindful of God. Will you not then understand? And when the messengers despaired and their people thought the messengers had been denied help, our help came to them at last. We then saved whoever we willed and our punishment is never averted from the wicked people. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. 
This message cannot be a fabrication. Rather, it is a confirmation of previous revelation, a detailed explanation of all things, a guide and a mercy for the people of faith. So he's making the claim that this particular verse at the end of this surah is saying, the Quran is saying, all of the Quran is a detailed explanation. Sure, That's your I'm argument. Sure. Is that right, Avery? Is, is that that is correct. Right? That the Quran that's is saying argument. that it itself is a detailed explanation yeah, 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 of all yeah. things, at least that's within that the Quran mentions itself. That's cool. I'm sorry, just give me the I'm sorry about this. It was verse 12. Is that right? Oh, chapter, yeah. chapter 12. 111. 111. Oh, 111. Yeah, chapter 12, verse 111. But by, by the way, Hamza. Uh, Ibn Kathir says that this is about the Quran, by the way. Yeah, but you don't understand tafsir either. But anyway, continue. What, 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 what is, how did you say in that help what I, what I just said? Oh, oh, okay, so Ibn Kathir, all he did okay, was report what thought... people said. <clears throat> no, that's not all he did. He, gave his, he gives his interpretation too. No, I mean, no, no. Uh, it, this verse, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's speaking about the Quran. Thank you, Jeff. Thank yeah. you, Jeff. Well, what's the yeah, but, no, 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 but what I'm saying is it's not saying that it, it, he, he says that this verse is saying that the Quran itself explains everything in detail. Everything in the Quran is explained by the Quran. That's what the Quran says. But it's not saying that. But that's what it says. No, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that. So when it says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. Yeah, that's not what a detailed explanation of everything that he's speaking about in Correct. terms of in terms of the sharia how to perform acts of worship etc well it's we, not we, we don't we're not expecting that he's teaching us how to edit videos are we you well, know it's, that, again, it's teaching that, 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 us what he's teaching us yeah yes yeah, so just John. before can we can just is it okay if i just ask something no wait hold on i, I need to respond okay to so so john i'm let me just be clear with my with my position. I'm not saying that the Quran has to be detailed and explained about something it doesn't talk about. Like, no, no, he's not saying that. Okay. He's, he's yeah, but he, that. he brought. Yeah, I'm not saying that. You no, know, no. So what he he's brought, saying? What he's he, saying? Hold on, hold on, I can, I can, I can break down my position, please. Thank you. So what I'm saying is, is that everything that the Quran talks about, the things that the Quran mentions, it's detailed and explained about all of it, because that's what the Quran says. Okay. So the Quran says in that verse. That it is a detailed explanation of everything. So it cannot be both. It can't be a detailed explanation of everything while at the same time have unclear, ambiguous verses that are unexplained. Can't do that. That's a contradiction. No, it can. All right, break down how. Okay, I'll just answer this quickly and then if we can get back to your ori original topic. That'll be fine. Well, this, this, is, this, we're, we're, this is hot right here. This is what we're on. So um, the, the verse that Hamza mentioned does not contradict this verse. Uh, Hamza, the verse Hamza mentioned, chapter 3. Uh, did you say chapter 3? Which is the one you yeah. mentioned, Hamza? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The so one where you, seven. you mentioned so yeah, so number 7. Run. Okay. Where it said there's basically there's uh, clear verses, okay, which are known by everyone. Okay, this is the first level of understanding, which is uh, the, the layman level. Everyone can read the Quran and take something from it. There's a second level of understanding, which is known by the scholars, which de derive uh, understanding from other verses and other hadith that have been mentioned. They collect it all together and understand the Quran in a much deeper way. And then there's the third level, which is that only Allah knows. So just because we don't know the explanation, doesn't mean it's not an explanation, does it? How does that contradict? Oh, let me just do one thing, actually. Uh, Avery. Yeah. I just I'm reading Ibn Kathir, and he says exactly what I said. What does he say? Okay. Chapter twelve, verse one, one, one. A lesson for men who have understanding. Allah states here that the stories of the messengers and their nations and how we saved the believers and destroyed the disbelievers. <clears throat> a lesson for men of understanding who have sound minds. It is not a forged statement. Allah says here that the Quran could not have been forged. It truly came from Allah, but a confirmation of that which was before it in reference to the previously revealed divine books by which the Quran mm -hmm. testifies to the true parts that remain in them and denies and refutes the forged parts that were added, changed and falsified by people. The Quran accepts or abrogates whatever Allah wills of these books. 
mm. meaning that allow uh, a detailed explanation of everything, meaning that allowed the prohibited, the preferred, and the disliked matters. The Quran the deals with, exactly, exactly. The Quran mm. deals with the acts of worship, obligatory and recommended matters, forbids the unlawful. So it, it's not giving you an explanation. It, it's giving you a, 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 a guidance is, for man. The, a guidance the, for the, man. Anza, the, the, the irony is to understand that verse, you had to go to a scholar, which was the second level I was well, talking about. Well, no, actually, so what? So you know, I was saying a different let's, level. Let's, let's break down everything. So, 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 so everything. So wait, basically, wait, wait, hold on. So, I mean, no, no. So, so what, what? One second. I heard both so, of you. No, no, no. I heard both of you. I but you didn't. But that. But you just. But what you just said I, about the Kathia was incorrect. No, I no, I didn't. So did. what I said. So this is what I said about Ibn Kathir, Hamza. I said Ibn Kathir says that this is about the Quran. It's not just I, about the Quran. It's, it's about the message. Yeah, but he says that when it says this message, he says this is talking about the Quran. No, this message in the sense of if you want guidance in this world, but what's haram, Quran, what's, halal, right? what's what's good for you, what's bad for you, what will benefit you, no what will harm you. Oh, oh, no okay, worries. stop, stop, stop. You're right. But it's, it's the Quran. not saying it's not saying it's an explanation of every verse in this book. I know what your I know what your position is. No, but Just, you no, no, no but your claim was saying. no, but no, okay, Avery, your uh, claim was what I'm saying. No, sorry, but this, but this. God wait, logic. God wait, wait, logic. hold on a second. Can I just get back you to your said, original thing? Hold, hold on a second, please. You said that this is not talking about the Quran. So we were arguing on whether or not this is talking about the Quran before John came up. I've been trying to tell you that this is about the Quran. You've been saying, no, 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 it's not. It's just talking about some general message that, in, in, you know, yada, yada, yada. No, it's not specifically I, I, about I, the Quran. No, 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 no. Don't, don't paint it that way. You That's said, exactly what you did. No, no, no. I tell you, no, it's not. You said Man, this verse. Season, you it. said. You okay. said. What's it, what's just, it doesn't it? matter. Did it? Let's just no, no, no. But let's just establish this point. Just establish this point. Okay, okay. You said this verse is saying that every single verse in the Quran should be understood. Yeah. Should be should be ex explained. Right, 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 right. I said it's not saying that. It's mm -hmm. saying confirming the previous revelations, the previous prophets, and it's the same message. So in this book. Yeah, is the message that is the message of the previous revelations and the previous prophets. Yeah, right. and the explanation of everything is what a man needs to live his life, to attain paradise, to avoid hellfire. It's going to benefit him. What's going to harm him? Yeah, that's what it's explaining. I and it does. Okay. And one second, one second. I'm and it does that job. One second, one second. And it does that job. Okay, what it doesn't do. And first of all, when you asked me that, I, I didn't even read this verse. I had to just read the context to understand it. And I, I first of all, I looked at it. I was like, mm, it doesn't seem to be saying what Avery's saying here. It's, it doesn't seem to be saying that you should, this Quran, you should understand every verse it says, which is you implied. Okay, I know a verse in the Quran, which I gave you from Surah Imran, which says some verses are precise and you'll understand them without. Okay, 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 okay. Bismillah. Um, um, no. God logic. Can I? No, can no, I, no. Just... I have to respond to what he said. Come on, man, you guys. Yes. Let me. I know. I know. We've been at. I want. I want, to, I want to get onto your topic. The original. This is topic. the topic right now, John. This is where you're at. If if you can't hop on on this, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be upset. But this is where we're at right now. So Hamza, your original position was that this is not talking about the Quran. John came up and confirmed that this was talking about the Quran, and what I said about Ibn Kathir is that Ibn Kathir agrees. That this that the Quran is referring to itself. You didn't agree with that at first. Okay. Now it I, seems I, that I, you I, I've changed my position. Okay. No worries. So now you agree that it's talking about the okay. Quran, which is what I was. Yeah, but it, okay. To. But it's no. no Wait, it's I didn't about the cut Quran. you off, bro. I did not cut right, you go off. On. Go on then. So that's that was phase one. Okay. Phase but before two, you now, before you before just a second, one second. Huh, before you, you crow about be this, me, before bro. you no, but before you crow about this, you I did say to you. I did say to you at first glance, I just looked at it. I didn't even no, go see Hamza, what the scholars say. Hamza, Hamza, anyway, no, anyway, yeah. continue, continue, no continue. No worries, Hamza. Uh, Anybody okay. can say something and then in uh, later in the conversation yeah, yeah, change yeah, yeah, the yeah, position. Yeah, no yeah, shame. Yeah. Okay. No shame, no shame. No shame. No shame, <laughs> no, shame no game. No well, shame, no game, man. So look, so <laughs> that was phase one. Now we're in phase two about what is it saying about itself, okay? So phase two is the argument that the Quran says about itself that it is a detailed explanation of everything. Not some things, not on the matters that are important, not at the not on the things that are pertaining to your guidance and your salvation or your worship. 
No, it says everything, period. It doesn't qualify it. If it qualified what it meant by everything, then John and you and even Ibn Kathir would have a point. Well, but, it context, it, but the context does. No, it doesn't. It says it's a detailed explanation of everything. That means no. that there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any unclear, undetailed. It's not saying questions. that though. That's just it your understanding of it. It's not saying that. You okay, said so it, what does what does detailed explanation of every what does everything mean? What does all things mean? What does both, all things mean? Hello. Yeah, any yeah, any, either of you can yeah, answer that. What is what does you, all things mean? You both just been reading Ibn Kathir, so why don't you just read what Ibn Kathir said? I don't understand. No, 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 but no, no, he doesn't no. agree with Ibn Kathir. He no, does. Yeah. So I, I, he doesn't, I, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, I don't agree with Ibn Kathir. I was just he showing agree him. With Ibn Kathir. That's the thing. Yeah, I was I was showing him that Ibn Kathir points to this as being the Quran. That's the part that you know I'm I'm in line with uh, with Ibn Kathir on. But okay. When he, well, when, when he tries to interpret and say, well, this is only about these particular matters, that's where I disagree because that's not what the Quran says. It says everything. So Ibn Kathir okay. tries to qualify everything when the Quran doesn't. No, but again, if you just take a one one line of the, the thing. Look, if the Kathir says this, okay, a lesson for men of understanding who have sound minds. It is not a forged statement. Allah says here that this Quran could not have been forged. A confirmation of which was before it, in reference to the previous revealed divine book, re revealed divine books by which the Quran testifies to the true parts that remain. And, okay, look, and, and a detailed explanation of everything, meaning the allowed, the prohibited, the preferred, and the disliked matters. The Quran deals with the acts of worship, obligatory and recommended matters, forbids the unlawful and discourages from the disliked. The Quran contains major facts about regarding the existence and ma about matters of the future in general terms or, or in detail. So it's even yeah. qualifying. It's even again. Qualifying. I, I think. I think what the 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 kind of misunderstanding might be, um, because obviously, like you said, from a Christian understanding, a Christian paradigm, you would. You would you think it means absolutely everything? That's is that what you're getting at? Uh, that the Quran talks about that is clear yeah, that's, about what it's like saying. when when you read scripture. If you read the Bible, you if if that was in the Bible, for instance, you would how would you accept that? What would you if, if, understand? if that was in the Bible? That would be that would be a problem. Uh, why? Because Just explain to us why, because obviously you yeah, you view scripture yeah, yeah. in a different way, right? Yeah, I got you. So so if the Bible said. That the Bible is a detailed explanation of everything, that would be a problem because there's things in the Bible that are not detailed and explained. There's unambiguous okay. things in the Bible that need further mm. interpretation, and that you know it's up for discussion. What, what, what yeah. the Bible from, says from is our, only from from our perspective. Mm. Just before, from our mm. perspective, see, we're not literalists. We don't believe uh, in a scripture in a literal way. We believe it in an apparent way. Does that make sense? So when we read this verse, obviously the context from our perspective is that it's speaking about uh, a limited number of things. It's not, we wouldn't assume that the, that the Quran is speaking about absolutely everything. Um, you know, the, there is a limit to what it's speaking about, of course. So then when you look at the context of it, as Ibn Kathir said, you know. Every Tafsir speaking... says the same thing. Yeah, but it says it indeed. Their stories, meaning the stories what I mentioned in the Quran, there's a lesson for people of understanding. You know, it's the, the Quran is not a false statement, but it's a confirmation of what has come before it and a detailed explanation of everything and a guide and mercy to the people. So the, the point is that it's 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 in context to the verse. I mean, it's speaking about all the things included in that verse, meaning the stories of the prophets, which it does. I mean, the Quran comes and gives a different narrative to the Judeo-Christian narrative of the prophets. It gives a different understanding to the rules and regulations, uh, the Sharia, how to how to worship Allah, who Allah is, etc. So, I mean, I don't understand what the point is. Um, as yeah, as far okay. as I can say, God logic is uh, mm -hmm. is from 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 a perspective, you're not really going to get much else out of us because we've 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 all three of us have gone to Ibn Kathir. Mm. And and that's kind of, that's what it means from an Islamic paradigm. That's how we interpret scripture. As I said, we're not literalists where when it says all things, it means absolutely everything. The apparent meaning of that is it's in context with that particular verse. And and therefore we, we, we understand the apparent meaning is it's speaking in context of that those things. And right. so we don't have a problem with it. Um right. I, I would request uh, can I request that um 
I come and I actually speak to you about your original topic. Is that okay? In, in a minute. Okay. I have to respond to what you're saying. No problem. No problem. After you've so, responded, we, we we don't need we don't we won't respond we'll, again. We'll, we'll, we'll have to settle. We'll have to see where where we're at and no see problem, no problem. how this develops. Because I, I like to I like to finish and have you know um, a set foundation. When you have what you're saying, um, that you take it as at its apparent meaning, not literally for what it says. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that Allah is literally one or is he apparently one? What, what do you mean? When the Quran says that Allah is one, yeah. is he literally one or is he apparently one? He's literally one because the the apparent meaning of the Quran that he's literally one. He's literally one because the apparent meaning is that he's literally literally one. Yes, yes. How, how does that how does that work? It works where Allah says he's one. Okay, mm -hmm. it's very clear. There's many verses in the Quran where Allah says he's one, mm -hmm. and he also says what he isn't. There's nothing like him that he's not three in one. You know, he, he he gives some qualifications to what one means. So that would mean literally one. But he doesn't there. He does he doesn't call but it that's out. pardon? Well, like when it, when he says that he's one, and yes. he's one, he's one God, he's one, he's one. Is that is he literally one God, or does it is just that just an apparent is he apparently one God or one? That's a diff that's that's not what we're saying though, is it? If you're trying to draw parallels with what I've just said about understanding the scripture from a literal way or an apparent way, that's not the same thing, is it? I'm trying to see how you how you judge this. When if when you, do you when do you take the literal meaning and then the apparent? What what is well, it's, it's always it's always the apparent meaning. It's always but the apparent. So Allah is not the, literally one; he's only apparently one. No, but the apparent meaning is that it's literal. Let me give you an example. I'll give yeah. you an example. Yeah. Let's say that in the Quran, this, this is not in the Quran, but just an example. Um, somebody comes to you and says, "There's, uh, there's, there's a lion on the pulpit in church." You know what? What do you understand by that? Uh, someone who's a warrior. Someone who's fierce. Someone who's fierce. Someone who's a warrior. You know, you understand it to be maybe one person, right? It's one person, a lion. It's, 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 it's one person who is brave, who has attributes of a lion. If you, you know, you know where I'm going with this. So the the apparent meaning is that it's a human being who is a is a brave person. You don't take the literal meaning that there's an actual, unless maybe you live in the jungle, and there might actually be a lion. I mean, I've I've been in parts of the jungle. Uh, but I've never seen a lion on the pulpit, right? So, you, by living in a place where there's lions, how does that um, tie in? I'm I'm coming. So, what we're saying is you, the way you would interpret that scripture, if that was, I don't know about you, but if that was, if that was in the Quran, we would we would interpret that to be a person, a human being who is on the pulpit. I don't know how, how would you interpret that to be an actual line if it was in the Bible? Well, well, I just told you how I would, but again, how now my question is when you're coming to certain verses, how are you judging what is okay, a, what is literal and what is apparent in its meaning? Yeah, so then if they let's say there's another verse and somebody says, I went in a jungle and I saw an elephant, I saw a crocodile, and I saw a lion, how would you interpret that one? Oh, that you saw animals. That, that was that's an actual lion, right? Even mm -hmm. though the same word has been used, you've interpreted a different way in the context of how it's been interpreted. It. So you know, you know, yeah, but just for the for the for the for the for the benefit of your people, you it's know, that it's not we, we don't literally translate things all the time, do we? Just because that it's, so it's, might so be. you interpret things based on its context, where whether it's apparent or whether it's literal, right? They have context, yeah. So, okay. but it's so what we're in the context that thank you, that's where I wanted to get to. But it's where all apparent, context? that's the point. It's no, the apparent, no, no it's not all apparent. You have the you have this literal, and then it's a, there's things that what's no, the difference? What's it? What's it? What's your difference? difference? God, yeah, my, yeah. Question, my question is, where, what's the context, difference between your apparent and literal? What's in, the difference? The, and well, he's saying he's basically when he says apparent, he says figurative. That's what he really means. No, what, 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 no, what no. do you what do you what do you mean? I, I understand when he when he when I when he says apparent. No, no. Let me no. Let me explain. Let me explain. You, you've what, misunderstood what he said. Let me explain what I no, mean by apparent. 
Okay, one, one, one second, John. One second, John. So when you when you uh, ask, Avery, no, Avery. Here's my, no, here's my question now. I'm ending my question. When you read chapter 12, verse 111, and it says that this is a confirmation of what came before it and a detailed explanation of everything. How do you determine whether that's literal or whether that's figurative or apparent? No, not okay. figurative. We didn't, we didn't right, 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 second, John. figurative. This is the, I think this is the problem. How do you understand the word apparent? By his John, examples, hey. I, I by his by his examples, I understood it's figurative or metaphorical. Figurative. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you believe that when he says apparent, it's figurative. What does figurative mean? That is like a, it's a it's kind of a saying, you know, it's not not meant to be taken literally as what it's what it is it's not meant to be taken literally yeah so something apparent is something that shouldn't be taken literally and what does literally mean by by, by what by how he described it that's what i took from oh, and, and literal, what, what does literal mean like for for example when he said there's a lion on the pulpit yeah that's the that's the apparent what's what's the apparent meaning you know you know it's uh it's right. being so it's I, figurative speech for there's a human that's brave and stuff like that. Right? And, and literal? And literal? What's so literal? Li literally, it would mean that there's an actual lion on the pool. Sorry, guys. My feed's a bit slow. My uh, can my uh, computer's just charging. Give me a couple of minutes. Right. So I think the way that John is speaking about apparent is not the same way you're saying it. I don't, from what John is saying. Um, well, for, I, 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 think, I, I, think that, I think that's figurative. kind of the problem. But, you know, we talk about Allah being one. I mean, you've, you've read Surah Al-Ikhlas, yeah? No, that that was just a side thing to get. No, to no, I know, no, I understand. But yeah, that's that's what I was referring to. That's but this goes back to this goes back to this goes back to that thing that I said to you in Surah Al Imran about the explicit yeah. and the ambiguous. Yeah, that we have explicit things clear, and mm -hmm. and we have things that are ambiguous. We agree with that, and um, sometimes we need I scholars to help us understand these things, or we need the prophet to explain these wait, things. Wait, wait, time out though. Here's the problem. According to that verse. The, not even no, that's, you've misunderstood no, that. You've no, no, misunderstood listen, that verse. According, I'm talking about three seven. According to oh. the verse, yeah, yeah. According to the verse, who understands the ambiguous verses? Uh, the prophet and people of knowledge. No, potentially. Nope. Not even them. Not even Muhammad. Not even the people of knowledge, because the Quran no. says in that verse, chapter three, verse seven, it says, "None knows the meaning except Allah." It says the, the people true, of knowledge the, the, just say it's off from Allah. The absolute meaning, yeah. Absolute. No, no, not the absolute. No, it doesn't say absolute. It says well, no. That, that's the, that's the apparent meaning. <laughs> see, got logic. That's the point. That's the point. Like exactly. The thing You've is, got to understand the it, paradox. It, the oh thing is, God. the logic. You see, if we just come back to that verse, if you just give me one second, uh, it should. I mean, like that verse that Hamza mentioned uh, in. Sorry, in <laughs> and it says their full seven. meaning. It says their full like, meaning. Like no, the definitely. point. The point is that there's three levels of understanding the Quran. You can read it as a lay person and wow. you get a, an understanding. The second yeah. level, which I'm sure you, you also have in Christianity, where there's a higher level of understanding when somebody knows the complete scripture and somebody knows everything about it, more knowledge. So scholars, they access the Quranic verses, they access the Hadith, they know the historical context, they know what's going on, they look at all the different interpretations of the scholars. And that's the higher level. But then Allah's saying, but none of them knows the true meaning. I mean, that's it's very simple. That's no, that's not what now, it's saying. See, see, no, there's no, something no, I want that, to say I, 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 regarding I regarding the Injil. I have to stop you there. I have to stop you there. That's you trying to bring like Christianity as a as a parallel here doesn't no. work because we wow. do not have in Christianity where the Bible claims to be a, a detailed explanation of everything. We don't have that. So we don't have that problem. There's going to be levels of understanding. There's going to be ambiguity. And we're okay with that. It's not a contradiction in our But religion. the Quran does teach so you absolutely let me, everything. Let me, let the me Quran even teaches John, how to make John, bread. John, let me lend this. Let me Do you know this. that, God's logic? Let me, let me lend this. The Quran even John, teaches how to make let bread. Let me lend this, John. However, with your Quran, it says that it's fully detailed and explained. But not just that, in the verse that you guys are referring to, where it says that there's clear verses and there are unclear verses. It's not that the, it, mm. if we keep reading, it doesn't say that, mm. oh, well, you know, only Allah knows its true meaning. No, okay. it doesn't say that. It says only Allah knows the meaning of the unclear verses. It doesn't verses. say that. It doesn't there say that. There aren't levels to it. It doesn't no say that. 
It didn't okay. say that. I didn't. One second, one second. It didn't say that. I read to you the verse says, those with deviant yeah. hearts follow the elusive verses seeking to spread doubt about their false interpretations, but none grasp their full meaning except God. The word oh. fool is not there. It's, it's not is there that. in the Arabic. It's, it's, oh, you read Arabic. Sorry, read it in Arabic for me. Please, Sorry. Oh, look, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up for us, guys. I'll pull Go it up. For I want you to, uh, like, oh, man. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, true interpretation, it says. Sorry. With regards to the Injil. <laughs> he doesn't want to speak about Christianity. Mind you, the Injil he probably will talk about. The reason he doesn't believe Jesus is men uh, mentioned Muhammad is because you've not seen evidence of Jesus mentioning Muhammad. Is that right? Yes. There there hasn't been any. There is none. That's why. So but because stop, basically we'll because, we're on because Jesus is not mentioned in the Bible. Is that the reason? Look, look, watch, watch this. Watch this. Hamza, John, are you guys listening? You see the words here? And not, let me show it's clear so we can see it on screen. And not knows its interpretation. Not its full interpretation, but its interpretation. The word fool is not there or true is not there. No one knows its interpretation except Allah. Not even the people of knowledge, not even Muhammad. Only Allah knows the meaning of these unclear verses. So you can't go to the tafsir to help you. You can't go to Muhammad to help you. Only Allah knows the meaning of these. Okay. okay. But on top of that, the uh, Quran. Says, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna turn into Jordan Peterson here. I'm gonna turn into Jordan the, Peterson. What do you mean by knowing? And now you're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean about that? No, I was gonna say. What um, do you mean? How do you understand the one, word knowing? One thing I... <laughs> <laughs> no, because knowing is with certain. By the way, do you, you know Hamza absolute... means lion. <laughs> <laughs> you about to ask? Hamza him actually knowing. means. Hamza no, means lion as well. No, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, <laughs> um, the word knowing is with certainty, isn't it? Knowing without doubt. But as John will say to you, there's three levels of knowing, and right. Allah has the ultimate level. Anyway, there is, the, the Quran yeah. doesn't God say logic. That. God God doesn't logic. Say there's levels to where some people may know some yeah. things about it. No, it says only Allah. No problem. Knows. Listen, you know, to be honest, uh, God, 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 to be honest with you, I mean, uh, you know, we have to hold our hands up, me and Hamza. You know, we're not masters of the Arabic language. You, you're probably better to speak into a, a linguist. I'm, I'm talking about a scholar of the Arabic language uh, when it's when it's uh, talking about the words. If, you, if you're talking about details of translation, it's the same. It's the same in uh, Christian scripture. You know, you can't read the English Bible and think you've understood it properly. You, you surely you have to go to the actual word in in the original language, right? So, of course, you can get a gist of it, but we, we, we're we all arguing and we don't know exactly, you know, ideally, if you really want to get this answered properly, either with... The you speak to Englishmen here, yeah? Fine. Englishmen. Oh, oh, we, yeah, I mean, we're English, you know, we're not masters of the Arabic language, you know, we can read Arabic, but we're not masters of the language. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, if, there, if you would like to speak to someone, I can try and, I mean, I'm sure Hamza knows somebody, someone with better knowledge of Arabic who can go in more details of... And show you examples. Okay, this word have, was used in this part Arabic, of the Quran. I have Arabic speakers. This is why I know this. This is why okay. I know that the word okay. true or fool wasn't there. Maybe you can organize that. one day for you know a Muslim Arabic speaker, Christian Arabic speaker to come and speak about this pop, this topic, and they can give their evidences. But I don't think we're going to do it justice. One thing well, I would I like to do justice at least, is, at least where we stand so far. At least where we stand so far, we understand that from the verse or the plain reading of the verse. These unclear verses, no tafsir can give you the meaning of them. Muhammad can't give you the meaning of them. Only Allah knows the meaning. Well, no, 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 you, you, you can't say that. Like, say Hamza, don't, can't there's say no that. point. It, no, but I'll just say this one thing. I'll just say this one thing. I'll say this one thing. The Arabic speakers who have interpreted the Quran have come to the conclusion that it's referring to absolute or full knowledge, not just that's it. That's the, the ones who know Arabic, who've translated the Quran, mm -hmm. they've taken it to mean in context what it means. <laughs> I'm an Englishman, I read the English Quran, here it says none know their full meaning. <laughs> other 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 Quran say their absolute meanings. Yeah. And, I would and, even, other, and other Qurans just leave it and at I, and, and, and I, I would contest we don't even know anything anyway. I, I, I would argue the idea that no one knows anything, it's all based on belief. Yeah, okay. I would say that. No okay. one knows for sure. So this is where anyway, we are. Anyway, this is where anyway. we are. So, 
So no, where the okay. Quran says that these are unclear verses, while the Quran, and, and by the way, 12.111 is not the only place. It's in multiple places that it says it's fully explained and fully detailed. Give me, this example. Give me another example. Give me another Hamza, example. Hamza, don't prolong this, this, this conversation. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Avery, Avery, Avery. Avery, 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 Avery wants to get onto the original topic. I know he wants Avery, to get onto that. Hold on a second. John, 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 Avery, Avery, John has come I'm, to answer your original question. I, well, well I'm, I'm solidifying this, and then we can move on. Well, you're not solidifying Okay, let him solidify it, Hamza. No problem. Let him do it. You have chapter 6, verse 114, that chapter says that the Quran is fully detailed. Don't entertain it, Hamza. Come I'm on. Sure we, I'm not going to entertain go it. John doesn't want you to go there. You don't have to go there. I'm just giving you the verses. Okay? No, he wants to get to the point. Well, this is the point. The no, point he wants is, to show, no, he wants you know, to show your original question. Well, this, is my, Jesus... this is my point. No, no. No, this it's is, not your this point. This is my point to you. You called Avery, John. Avery, 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 point Avery you. your point was, where does Jesus prophesize Muhammad? That was your point. Well, and yeah, he's going to come and tell you. And so he's come to tell you that. To you, so he's come to answer that question. In the he's come to answer you that question. Yes. He's come to answer that what, question. When, but when you was here, when you was here, Hamza, you're the one, you're the reason why we're here in the first place. When we came to the Jesus, is, is Jesus mentioned in the NGO and stuff like that. Yeah. You, because of you, got us all the way here to where you pre helped me present a contradiction in the Quran. Okay. Let me read this. Version. I'm just going to read this verse you went to. So 6 14. Say, oh, prophet. On. No, I'm just gonna show this nonsense just spouting these verses. Can't help it, John. I'll tell you what it is, God logic. It's it's actually twenty past two in the morning where I am. I'm in Turkey, right? Hamza's oh, probably on about eleven o'clock. What time is it where you are? Hamza? Yeah, 11. quarter past eleven. Just, just right. this one. I was gonna I've got I've got to go and eat soon because we're fasting Ramadan. So I mean, I've got little time. It depends. Just very quickly. Just very quickly. All right. Don't respond though. Don't respond, Avery. Please. He's gonna answer your original question. But I just want to just say this first. You telling me not to respond on my own? I won't read it. I won't read it then. But again, you've misread it. It doesn't matter. Hold on. He said I misread it. I can't. No, no, no. Don't bite on that. Don't bite on that. Don't bite on that. The thing is, the thing is, if any if if any Muslim pulled out a verse of the Bible. And started giving it their interpretation. No, no Christian would accept that because you, mm. you're working from a different paradigm. You're working from a different usul principle. Not. It's, it's not you about know, the paradigm. You know, it's about us reading it, what's in front of no, us. When when I was a Christian, if so, if a Muslim came and started interpreting the Bible, I wouldn't have had it. I'm like, who are you? You don't even you don't even know what you're talking about. And it's mm. the same thing. It, you know. You can you can read into the Bible and say it means this, it means that. That's not how we view the scripture from our paradigm. You need to understand the principles. So, I mean, you know, we can go these through are, this. These are problems I have, John. These are problems I have. So he said I misread it. All right. It says, say, then is it other than Allah I should seek as judge while it is he who revealed to you the book explained in detail? Did, did I read it wrong? I'm well, saying. yeah, you did. You did. I'll read it. <laughs> I'm reading it. I'm reading the Quran here, mate. Okay. <laughs> Say, O oh Prophet, should I seek a judge other than God while he is the one who has revealed to you the book with the truth perfectly explained? The wow. truth, yeah. So that's not even there. That's not even in the. It doesn't say with the truth perfectly explained. It says that oh, oh, the book okay. is explained in detail. That's okay. Not in the Arabic. It, it, it says the Quran contains the truth. The, uh, I'm telling you, the word haq, which is truth in the Arabic, it does not exist in this verse. It's not there in the in the Quran. Oh, okay. I'll say it again to you. It says the book. Look, you've got to understand. You, it's not just taking the word and translating it. It's understanding the context of what's being spoken about. This is how translation works. So they're so they're so they're putting their own interpretation. But this is what the Bible the does. Yeah, like the Bible does. But no, oh, they, no, don't but, do that. Don't you do that? Don't you do that? Can you admit that I read it correctly? Well, one second, one second. When you see something in brackets in the Bible, what does it mean? What verse is this? This, this is, is chapter uh, 6, verse 114. Uh, what six, number? Verse 114. Chapter 6, verse 114. Hamza, did I read it correctly? Not according to my Quran, no. All right, so your Quran has the fabrication. Yeah, this it? is no the, no, the click. No, it's not fabrication, is it? It's just, okay. When you when they translate the Arabic, yeah, it's it, you have to look at the context of what's being spoken about so the English speaker can understand what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I, I look, Hamza. I perfectly understand okay. it when it says that this book is explained in oh, detail. Okay, so put the verse from the clear Quran. Why are you putting this one up? Because the clear, the clear Quran, Quran is butchering the text. Well, it's not. Yes, it is. I, I, I have it on the screen. It's butchering the text, man. 
What's Why explained in detail? Okay, what, what's explained in detail? The Quran. Come on, Habibi. And, 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 look, 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 look. I'm not going to say my translation is no translation. Just please, just, just drop it, please. It's just stupid. I, I agree. I, so, I agree. Uh, so uh, good logic. Do you have got time for me or not? Clear. Yeah, yeah, he's going to deal with it. Right. So you, your question originally was, where does Jesus prophesy about uh, Muhammad? Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll move on once you say that I read it correctly. Now. You've read that correctly, yes. All right, thank you. So I read the correctly. Oh, that's not what I read. So I read, did I read it correctly? You you read what's in your translation correctly. Did I read it correctly? Did I read wrong. it correct? Did I read it correctly? Which is wrong. This is why we have to bring. Uh, this is why you need Arabic speakers. No, this is why we have to bring. You need to bring Arabic speakers for that side, yeah. Honestly. So no, um, man. This, 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 this just concludes that the Quran ain't clear, man. Even even this clear verse is ambiguous. Okay, can I can I uh, speak about? Oh, yeah, the, go ahead. We could we could, we could go to uh, Jesus. So, Jesus, I, I got about 30 more minutes. I'm, okay, I'm actually I might have to go a little bit before because I'm, it's 20 past two now. Okay. And if, with Can I ask you some questions about Christianity after John goes? I, I have 30 minutes, so as long yeah, as yeah, John's, okay. John's, John's, all right. If any time left is mine, yeah? As long as it's on topic, Hamza. On your topic, on Christianity. On Jesus being mentioned in the in the injury. No, no, on no, the being did, Ma, did Jesus mention Muhammad at all? That's no, way. just me asking you about Christianity that the, the other Muslim was asking you, but in a really bad way. As long as it's on uh, subject. Uh, excuse me. Anyway, go on, John. Go on, John. As long as it's on subject. So, so the answer is um so what's your name, uh, God Logic? Avery. Avery, okay. So Avery, your reason for um that you don't believe what's your reason for that you don't believe Jesus mentioned Muhammad. Am I correct in saying because it's not mentioned in the Bible? Yeah, I do you don't, think he's, I don't, you think he's not mentioned in the Bible? He's he's not mentioned in the Bible. I think I think you even said this. Like he was like, you'll like what I said before uh, we le we left off last time. He was like, you, you'll like what I say. No, he's not. Is it, it the same way Jesus isn't mentioned in the Old Testament by name? Yes. The same way the, the the word the name Muhammad is not mentioned. You know, he, the, no, the point he, he is, is in the Old Testament by name. So. So then, so, so so what's the re one minute, Hamza? <laughs> Go ahead and bite, Hamza. No. Bite. Shall we boo Hamza? Hamza? Shall we boo him? Let's no, boo I'm him. Gonna... <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Gonna bite, leave it. Hamza. No, I'm not biting on that. I got, I got the steak right in front of you, Hamza. I'm banging on <laughs> no, the steak, man. I, I'm allowing John to do his thing. I'll just sit no, no. Back. I'm just asking. What is the reason for for? I mean, the Quran clearly says that Jesus he knew the name of 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 Ahmed. You know, he knew that my, he, he mentioned Ahmed. Um, so you don't uh -huh. believe that Jesus mentioned Muhammad? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any. But just any because evidence. the Bible, because you say the Bible doesn't mention him. Yeah, the Bible doesn't mention him. Yes, yeah, so the Bible doesn't mention Muhammad at all. And, you know, so I don't have any. I haven't been given any reason to believe that the Quran, what the Quran is saying is true here. I haven't been given any reason to believe that. Mm. So because the Bible doesn't mention it, therefore the Quran is wrong. Is that basically yeah, we, what you're saying? Yeah, we have we have Jesus' sayings, we have Jesus' teachings, uh, what he taught, what he believed. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm not and I haven't been given any evidence uh that Jesus. So ever is it just it. because just because the Bible if it was just because the Bible doesn't mention Muhammad, you therefore the Quran is wrong. Is that your reasoning? Is there no well, other explanation? Can you think of any other possible explanation that that the that the Quran is still right? Not is there any. So just because the Bible uh, doesn't mention him, therefore the Quran is wrong. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's saying that Jesus mentioned him. So I would like. I, I mean, we have, but, but not, but not we everything. Find things, we find it in the New Testament. You know? But not everything Jesus said is in the Bible, correct? Uh, that's true. So, it it it, you know, so that just because it's not mentioned in the Bible, it doesn't mean Jesus didn't say his name was Ahmed. Well, this is what we have here. We have the Quran making a claim that Jesus, uh, you know, that everything that Jesus spoke is the revelation of Allah. Right, he didn't speak mm. any. He didn't speak or give any revelation that's not, you know, that's not from God. 
Would you just agree? To, just to, just to kind of it, yeah everything jesus said was revelation but not everything jesus said was the injil because okay. we have the we have the injil which is a book given to jesus which is the kalam uh -huh. the word of a god and we have jesus' yep. words which is also revelation but it's the words of jesus the same way Got the it. words of muhammad is revelation but it's not the quran so so let me ask you this when jesus is giving revelation or prophecy is that his own words or is that allah's revelation well, there's two types of hadith. There's one which is Allah's words, which is called Hadith Qudsi, where Muhammad quotes what God just directly said to him word for word. And Jesus would have had something similar. And then there's another type of hadith, which is the sayings and the actions of Prophet Muhammad, which is still revelation, but it's not classed as kalam Allah. It's not classed as the word of Allah. So the same uh, with Jesus. So you're, so you're saying that Jesus had hadith. Hadith means it's like a collection of statements. That's all hadith means. Yeah, so you it's, like, it's like, it's like report, reports about what this person did. Yeah, so you believe that Jesus had hadith. Other, other than the angel, he no, had hadith. No, it doesn't work like that. Let me let me say, just to, just to clarify, this is one of the big misunderstandings why there's so much confusion. We believe that all the prophets were given a book from God. Not all the prophets, but Abraham, Moses, David, Jesus, and Muhammad were given books, okay? Mm -hmm. The Torah, Zabor, Injil. This is mm -hmm. not, we, uh, you know, th these were actual books given to the prophets, which was the word of God. We, we say in Arabic, Kalamullah. Mm -hmm. It's not the words of Moses, David, or Jesus, or the Quran's not the word of Muhammad. It's given to them, right? Okay. okay, so so they, they, they was given it, right? Whereas there's another type of a revelation where they're inspired. You know, like you believe Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were inspired, and then mm -hmm. they written down. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. Same with, with Prophet Muhammad, from but, but we believe as a prophet, where he, he, he was inspired. And whatever he said was by default revelation. Got you. So, yeah. and that stuff is in the Hadith of Muhammad, the Sunnah, the Prophet, right? Well, that's been recorded. It's been collected, and we call them records Hadith. So, for instance, in, you know the Red Letter Bible, what you have? Mm. Yeah? You know, you, you know, like in you have something which you call the Red Letter Bible, where it's the sayings of Jesus. Yeah. Okay? We would say that these red letters is what you're claiming Jesus said. So that is Hadith. That's that's hadith of what Jesus said. Now, we as Muslims don't believe that can be authenticated, but it's still hadith. It's equivalent of, of it's basically a claim that Jesus said this. It's a claim to be hadith of Jesus. Does that make sense? Right. It's not claiming to be the Injil, that what okay. was given to Jesus from our perspective. Right. Of course, from yeah. your perspective, it, the Injil or the gospel is, is far more than that. But from our paradigm, the Injil was a book given to Jesus. I know you don't believe that. Yeah. Well, so so just from what I'm understanding you, you believe that Jesus had what was direct revelation from Allah, which is the Injil. Yes. But then also had um, like Hadith. He had Hadith. He had a, a his, sayings and action, his sayings and actions are revelation. So if somebody recorded it, for instance, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, if they happen to record or claim to record a saying of Jesus or even an action of Jesus, from our perspective, that is a, a hadith of Jesus. Does that make sense? That That is a that collection is of something that's claimed. So this, yeah, yeah. what so, you're saying, because I'm just, just making the, sure... Just to undermine it, Avery, Avery, just to make it easy. Your New Testament, your Gospels are basically hadith. That's, no, that's I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that even. Fabricated I would say, no, no. I would say it's. I would say it's Sira. I would say it's well, biography. Oh yeah, yeah, biography. Yeah, Sira. Yeah, but Sira with, is based on hadith with, as well, isn't it? With, with hadith. some hadith dotted around, with, because when we fair, write biography, fair. yeah. Sorry, Avery. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing wrong with hadith because hadith can be revelation, as you guys both have said, right? So, but I'm if trying it's to authentic, make, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to make sure so we understand that you're saying. That there's the Injil that Allah gave to Jesus, 
And then there's also hadiths where, you know, he, his actions and some other sayings that are not in the Injil, but these sayings are also revelation and his actions are also revelation uh, that, you know, people may have written down or may not have written down. Yeah, they may or may not have written down, yeah. All right, so there's the Injil. That we wouldn't, we wouldn't call it a hadith, hadith unless it's been collected, yeah. Then there's Pardon? the Sunnah of Jesus. Pardon? Then, so you have the Injil of, that was given to Jesus, and then you have the Sunnah of Jesus. Well, you, you do. You have a Sunnah, yeah, if it's authentically, authentic, if it's authenticated to be true, okay, it, if it can be connected back to Jesus, or it can be connected back to the Quran or the authentic hadith, then it's regarded it regard as authentic. And yes, we would say this is the saying and the action of Jesus. All right. So when you have Jesus saying that <clears throat> a messenger will come after me named Ahmed, is that yeah. in the Injil or is that in just, is that a hadith? Well, this is the thing. The Quran doesn't make it, see, in, in part of the one verse of the Quran, it says the unlettered prophet is mentioned in the Torah and the Injil, which is with them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we know Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and Injil that was with them at the time of Muhammad in Medina. Okay? Now, when it comes to the other verse about Jesus saying his name is Ahmed, see, we don't know how Muhammad was mentioned. Okay? The same way, for instance, Jews reading the Old Testament before Christianity, they didn't know that these verses were referring to Jesus, as you claim, okay? So the same thing, in the from the Islamic perspective, you have, uh, you know, the, the, the Quran is claiming that the, the unlettered prophets mentioned in the Torah in Geo, which was with them in Medina at the time of the prophet, and Jesus is also saying his name is Ahmed. Now, is the word Ahmed in the Injil, or was it something given to him through inspiration? We don't know exactly. We don't, we don't know. We don't have knowledge on whether that was how uh, Muhammad was mentioned in the Injil or if that was something he'd been revealed to uh, through Hadith perspective to make it simply, simplified. Gotcha. Does that make sense? I understand, yeah, I understand your position. So you don't know how he was mentioned, whether it no, we... was when it came to Jesus, whether that's in the Injil or whether that's like just hot, you know some hot we, we do we do we do okay and now i okay i'm i'm confused honestly john why because you you just told me from what i understood you saying that we don't know how muhammad was mentioned from the scripture yeah. you know you don't know how he was according, according to the quran according to the quran got it so, so according when, to the so when jesus says when Jesus says, you know, Ahmed will come after me, would that have been in the Injil or would that have been just like some hadith statement or a hadith? As, as I said, from the Quranic perspective, okay, from the Quran, the Quran doesn't make it clear how Jesus was mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. He just says, you mean there's Muhammad? an unlettered, pardon? You mean Muhammad, you misspoke, you mean Muhammad. You said, you said Jesus, but... Uh, I just want to be clear. Oh, sorry. That. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how Muhammad, sorry, was mentioned in the Torah and Geo. Mm. Now, um, what, what we do have. So just, just back to the point. So just because Jesus isn't, uh, sorry, Muhammad, I keep missing. Just because Muhammad's not mentioned in the Bible, you're, you're concluding that therefore the Quran is wrong. Uh, yeah. Because that's where we have these statements. That's where we have the gospel. But these, is there any so, other is is there any other possible uh, outcome or explanation? For instance, no. one outcome could be that uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, was mentioned in the Bible. Okay, that the Bible is the Injil. Okay, but it's been changed after Islam. That's one uh, possible uh, explanation. But I think we both agree that the Bible has not changed after the advent of Islam. I think we both agree with that, right? Right. 
you know, because the Bible was kind of well established before prior to Islam, you know, right. to, you know, to an extent of what it is. So mm-hmm. the, the other option is that the Bible is not the Injil, and therefore the Quran is speaking about an alternative book. That's that's another option, right? Uh, I I don't think so. Why not? Well, when no, it it's talks not, about it's, the, it's not about what you think. It's just an option. Well, he, he just asked, he just asked me. Yeah, yeah, it's an answer. option. Well, yeah, I'm that, saying, that, uh, Avery. So. Let me be clear what I was saying. Let me just be clear to make it clear um, because maybe Hamza or Avery are misunderstood. The other option, there's another possibility that the Bible is not the Injil. Okay. And therefore, the Injil that the Quran is speaking about at the time of the Prophet Muhammad in Medina is an alternative scripture. And it, the question is is this possible? Whether you believe there was another Injil or not. Is it whether you believe it's the right Injil? That's that doesn't really matter whether you believe in Islam or not. From a from a academic perspective, is it possible that there's an alternative scripture in Medina at the time of the Prophet peace be upon him? You know, from a historical perspective, knowing that there are many heretical groups, there were many heretical Christians, heretical Jews who had alternative scripture that they were claiming was the Injil, claiming was the Gospel. Claiming was the Torah, you know, is it possible from a historical perspective that there, that there was a something in Arabia at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, which the Christians in that time, in that area, and the Jews at that time, labeled the Torah and the Injil? Is that a possibility? I think anything is possible, John. I just don't think that that's the case. No, but okay. it's a possibility. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's the case, though. No. No, I know. Why do why do you think that's the case, though? Like, what? So, why like, for, example, for example, the Quran, when it's talking about our the Bible, it quotes it. It quotes what I have. Where? What does it quote the Bible? So, for example, it quotes Exodus twenty one about eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. It quotes it. But it chapter. doesn't quote it, does it? It doesn't quote it. It does. In chapter five, verse forty five. Is it exactly Bible. the same? Well, pretty much, almost verbatim. It's not. Exactly. It's the Bible. Bible. It's one minute, almost. Hamza. One minute, Hamza. But it's, almost a ban you have. It, it's not the same. It is. You can same. admit it's not. It says burning for burning. One of the key yeah. parts of Islam is you're not allowed to burn people. Well, well, um, it's what, what I, I just said. It's almost verbatim. It's quoting. okay. So, so it let's look just one minute. So, so is it possible? You, you said it's almost verbatim. So, what you're saying yeah. is that it's not verbatim. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be verbatim to be quoting something. So, so it's different. So the Torah that was being quoted. So that's one example. Let, we'll, we'll write that that's down. An okay. Where it's quoting my Torah. And let me. Put, let me it's another twist. Let, okay. So, okay. So that's that's a good point. I mean, maybe these Jews in Medina uh, echoed the Torah that you was using, and they put their own twist on it. Well, you wouldn't call that the Torah, would you? You would call it a Torah with a twist. Well, no, no. That's not. No, I'm not saying that the Jews had a different Torah than I do. I'm saying that the Quran. The one in Medina oh, didn't say oh, burning for burning. Let me finish. The what the 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 Quran verse that I'm saying that I'm talking about quotes mm-hmm. the Torah with not per, not verbatim, not but verbatim, it quotes yeah. it. Yeah, it quotes it. You don't you don't you don't have to be verbatim to quote something. Okay, so so your claim is that your evidence that 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 the the Torah. Now remember, let's let's bear in mind that's not the New Testament. Right. I know. I'm your, just giving you examples of, of the Quran. Your evidence that the Torah, the Torah in Medina, is the Bible because of that quote, which is not verbatim. Okay, mm-hmm. that's one. Do you have any other verses like the one in the Psalms, which you mentioned before? The Kingdom yeah, of quotes, yeah. quotes the Psalm. Quotes. Uh, it's just one. Is just. Do you want to quote us that one as well? This is chapter twenty-one, verse one hundred five. He says that we wrote in the Psalms. <clears throat> Um, that my righteous servants will inherit the inherit the land. Yeah, that's Psalm thirty-seven twenty-nine. I think. And what does it say in Psalms thirty-seven? Is it verbatim? Oh, not, it's not exact. verbatim, is it? Not, yeah, not it's not exact. exact yeah. So, but so we got is, two. You yeah. got two evidences from Avery to yeah. show that the Torah in Medina and the Psalms was quoted. The, the, the Zabor, sorry, the Torah and the Zabor that was quoted in Medina was not quoting the Bible verbatim. But he, but he still believes 
that the that the Bible in Medina, uh, that that the Injil in Medina is the Bible. Just, just, to be clear, the just to be clear, you 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 do agree that you don't have to be exact and verbatim in order to quote something, right? Well, no, but if it, if it's the same book, it would be the same. Wait, wait, let, let, please let him answer. You don't I'll, have to I'll be answer. exact and verbatim, and verbatim to to quote something. Right? Uh, what 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 I'm doing is I'm 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 asking you for your evidence, right? Just need that you, so, I'm I'm answering your evidence, which is. This eye for an eye, which is also quoted. Um, never mind, we'll talk about non Muslim quotes later. But you, your evidence is um, I'm, just asking, that, that, I'm just asking a simple question, bro. You don't even have to I, do all of that. It's just a simple question, John. Do you agree that? that do you agree that uh, verbatim and word for word is not required in order to quote something? Well, from our paradigm, it is actually. If we if no, we're quoting not. the book, no, it is from but from the from, if we put, well, I'm just telling you how we. If you want to understand the Islamic our perspective, I mean, I understand in your from your perspective because you're quoting hadith. Technically, the Bible is technically. Well, no, saying, no, well, the Quran is. I'm quoting hadith as quoting hadith. I guess the Quran is. So hadith. for us, so for us, so for us, if we're quoting the Quran, we have to quote quote it directly now. Put that aside. I I, I do accept. You, know, you, you just, said no, you just made that up. Where where in Islamic theology does it say in order to quote something it has to be verbatim? Where where do you get that from? Okay, this, this from is this, our paradigm. Where do you get that from? This is from our tradition. Yeah. So show for me, instance, I, I need to see that. I, I need to see a reference where an early scholar or somebody of authority says in order to to quote in order to quote something it has yeah. to be verbatim. Okay. I need to see something like that. that, I, is I, that. I, I don't have a reference for you right now. So, so I'll, I can bring that next that? time. No, just because I don't have a reference, it doesn't mean it's, I don't, it's not the truth. I feel if like you made quote, that up on the spot. No, Google it. If you want to <laughs> quote the Quran, you have to quote, you have to quote the Quran in our, I'm talking in Arabic, of course. If you're quoting the Hadith, because the Hadith is, is preserved in meaning, not in wording. It's the word, the wording, the, it's revelation in meaning. And wording of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So you can be more flexible with the Hadith. But when you're talking about the Qur'an, it's word for word. You would not say that it's not permissible to recite the Qur'an wrong. Nobody's yeah. talking about reciting the Qur'an. A again, I asked about... What, but that's what how we quote about. the Qur'an. No, that's not what we're talking about. Now you're, you're shifting. I'm not talking about reciting the Qur'an. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking when you're quoting something. Let's say... Like, like, when you're... <laughs> When anyway, you're, when let's, when put, you're let's put that to the side. Well, you you can reference something without 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 being verbatim and word for word, correct? Look, you can paraphrase, but it's not the words of the original. In English, you can. In English, you can. In Arabic, you can. So in English, you can. So you, you can. Paraphrase something that's in English. Quoting something, in English, right? you're allowed. Well, no, I would never be held to something someone paraphrased. So if I said something and someone paraphrased what I said, I would be held to that. Yeah. But there's, uh, but I. I I, I got you, but they're okay. quoting me, right? When he, but when they're he paraphrasing. Says, they're, not, they're not quoting me. They said exactly what I said. No, bro. So uh, uh, you, we can do that in English, but we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to do that in Arabic. We're not allowed to do that in Arabic. You, anyway, you, even, you, even, you can do that in in, in research papers and, and, and so essays and stuff. You can so Avery, you have an eye for an eye, and you have the quote in Psalms. Do you have any quotes from the New Testament? The one on uh, Sam yeah, yeah, the one on Sam Simon's paper, yeah. There's a there's a reference actually not not Sam Shamoon's paper but actually an Islamic commentator that puts okay what was it I think it's uh, yeah. chapter forty eight verse twenty nine yeah. where it talks about uh, it mentions a parable that's in the gospel and it quotes yeah it. well it's but speaking parable. about the companions of Muhammad yes yeah but it says this is in the gospel so let me see if I could get that verse really quick and show you what yeah. the commentator said on it because they put that's in the how it's described in the Torah yeah. So and in the, the in jail. This doesn't have anything to do with uh, Muhammad being um, mentioned just, in the scripture. Just so I understand. So, yeah, Come I'm aware on. of this this verse, but that verse is there. It is yes. So forty eight twenty nine. Hold on, let me just show you guys this forty eight twenty nine. If I go to Quran.com and I put up the footnote, it's really interesting how this comes up. <clears throat> Quran.com. 
So, so, so if I say something and somebody repeats something, like, repeats it, but adds words of their own, <laughs> that's, a, that's not my quote. <laughs> If you quote me, you quote me, you quote the, me my words I say. If you, you quote somebody, some, you can quote listen, somebody with a paraphrase. I, I'm telling you, if you want to quote what somebody says, right, you'll end up in court, mate, because they'll do you for libel or slam a, because they didn't say that thing. A, the, the, point anyway, is, the point is, no, I get it, I get it. The point is, the point is that he's quoted things from the Quran. Okay, he's quoting an eye for an eye verse, which know, is actually from the Quran. It's not from the Torah that was in Medina. He's quoted a uh, verse which he claims is also parallel in the Psalms. But these two, these two can be sharing the same source. Exactly. So the original Torah that was revealed to Moses, the Bible could be echoing that, possibly. And Allah has re-revealed it in the Quran. And this echo... Of revelation which he he's got in uh, Psalms is actually quoting the Zabor what was given to David because the Psalms is not the Zabor the Psalms is a collection of poems by different people so that this particular verse could be quoting that but it also could be quoting other historical texts for instance uh, the eye for an eye was a very popular law at the time even amongst the pagans they had an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth <coughs> You know, so maybe the Bible was quoting that. Maybe, maybe Allah affirmed the eye for an eye rule the same way Allah affirmed rules, which even the pagans in Medina had. Well, so the point well, is, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that. That that would actually be detrimental if that's what you're saying, because the Quran says that Allah's the one who put, who ordained and put in the Torah for them an eye for an eye, life for a knife, and stuff like that. If you're saying that that actually comes from pagans then you're saying that Allah is taking from pagans or possibly inspired pagans to come up with the rule that ends up in the Quran. You, that, that doesn't, I don't think that that's a position you want to hold. You want me to answer that? Or? If you want. Or do you want to move on? Yeah, the I mean, that, that's not Didn't the Torah come before the pagans? Yeah. Anyway, go <laughs> No, but the, the pagans, what? the pagans. Uh, how, you are out of it, bro. <laughs> For instance, the, 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 the people, the pagans that came after Ibrahim, okay? <clears throat> You know these these people they had a uh, law if you if you just google eye for an eye law it predates the torah the point is that this was a common law amongst humans it's not just yeah. something that all yes allah revealed it allah revealed it in the torah in there the original go. torah of moses he also revealed it in the quran it's not to say that it nope. wasn't oh, used by non-muslims or he didn't non-believers reveal it in the quran. he didn't reveal it in the quran that's for the, that's in the torah it says it doesn't that's not in the Quran. But it's it's so re-revealed the in the Quran. The Quran. No, the it's Quran re-revealed. Says, no, the Quran says it's in the Torah for the Jews. But, but that's the whole point. The Quran says it means the it says in the Quran what he revealed. He re-revealed it in the Quran. In the Torah, right? He says it's in the Torah, yeah. But it's not the one that you've got. Because he doesn't say well, that the it's quoting the, the one I got. It's quoting the it's quoting it's the not, one that I have. It's not, and I can prove that, and we're gonna get onto that next. Uh, okay, so there's a there's another yeah. Torah out there that that has life or nine, life or nine, two for two. That's not in Exodus. There was. We'll come to the Torah that was in Medina when you're ready. So the, okay, got you. So there's a Torah in Medina that, has that is not the Old Testament. Yeah. That is not Exodus. It's not Genesis. It's not Deuteronomy. It's not Leviticus. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So where are we now? So, you, so from a historical perspective, is there a possibility that there was a there was a, a sect of heretical Jews and Christians in Medina? Uh, me, heretical meaning people that didn't follow the mainstream concepts of Judaism and Christianity. I mean, from our perspective, we believe that it's possible these Jews and Christians in Medina were actually true followers of Moses and Jesus; that they were not actual. Uh, Trinitarian Christians, okay, or and and there's a mixture of people. So, for instance, you you're aware of Warwick bin Naufal. You mentioned on one of your feeds. I got about, I got about seven more minutes, guys. Respectfully. Uh, oh, no problem. That's perfect. Perfect. We'll do this again. We'll so, do this again. Yeah, you guys, you yeah. guys are welcome to come by anytime, man. Yeah, what you can well, do maybe is bring Sam on. Bring Sam on. Sam we'll do, yeah, yeah, you, you and Sam, you and me and Sam. Hamza. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, so 
just to, so I can use the seven minutes wisely, you, you're aware of Walaka bin Nawfal, who was a Christian who was living at the time of Prophet Muhammad. You're aware of the Hadith in Bukhari where it says he used to write the Injil in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And he was actually, I uh, argue, arguably the first convert to Islam who uh, acknowledged Muhammad by the way in, in which he received the Injil through Angel Gabriel. So he, he says in Bukhari, that this is the same Namus, meaning Jibreel, because we believe Angel Gabriel gave the Injil to Jesus. He gave the Torah to Moses. He gave the, 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 the Quran to Muhammad. And this was the method of revealing the scriptures. Okay, So Walak ibn Alful states that this is the same Namus, which gave the Injil, sorry, the Torah to Moses. And there's another reference where he says it's the, it's the same Namus, which gave the Injil to Jesus. So the Christian who was in the time of Muhammad recognized Muhammad by the way in which he received the revelation. Now, from your perspective, that would be a heretical Christian because your, your perspective Christian, should be too. No, from our perspective, because Muhammad, an angel didn't give Muhammad the Torah, Allah did. What do you mean? Allah's the one who gave Moses the no, I said Muhammad did I. Allah's the one who gave Moses the Torah, not an angel. So no, we believe we, be, we from our perspective, we believe that it's J G Gabriel who revealed the Torah to Moses. You got, you got to show me that, bro. You got to show me that. According to your Quran, you have to Allah's do your research, Torah. bro. You have to do your well, research. No, no according, I've, I've done it. According to your Quran and your Hadith, Allah spoke to Ma to Moses directly. He's the only one he spoke to directly. He and did speak to Moses directly. directly. He directly when he gave him the Torah. He spoke to Moses directly on the mountain, and when he revealed the tablets, it was Jibril that came bringing the tablets. All right, where okay. does it say? You can do your research. Well, back I to this point. Research. Yeah, do some research. Where, the where point do, where, is, where do I go to find that, John? You've got the sources, the Quran, the Hadith. You got access so to all the lovely see, websites. You you've got all access to all the lovely websites. Now. You can't huh? make a claim and then say, go find what I said. you got like five minutes left, mate. Yeah, I've got five yeah, minutes. Like, Let me get the gist of the argument do, together. So you and then you can do the right. research and then yeah, you can come you back. Gotta, you got to – I understand. But okay, gotta, listen. Okay, listen. We'll, we'll leave it here then. So we'll wait for Sam because Sam will be able to huh? back it up because Sam, Sam would have done his research. He would know, and he can give you the reference. Well, I, I'm looking for you to back me. Are you supposed to be my friend? Here, man. So what so we're gonna do now? Us. Because we're gonna because we're gonna organize with Sam, okay? Uh, I'll I'll give so you. you we'll, we'll we'll finish with this hadith because you don't have time because you said you have to go, okay? The f the fact is that from a historical perspective, there were many different Jewish and Christian heretical sects around the Middle East with different books. That's why there's a ton of apocrypha books, okay? From an Islamic perspective, are we still there? From an Islamic perspective, there's also evidence that there was a Christians and Jews in Medina who don't match the, the current leading victorious sect of the Jews and Christians today. So what I'm saying is that I'll there is problem. an alternative. There is an alternative, Avery. It's not necessarily... No, I, I you. the you're, you're, saying, you're saying that it's possible that, uh, that the... That the Injil that the Quran is talking about is not my New Testament, but is uh, a heretical Gnostic writings, heretical Christians who uh, had had a, had a heretical Injil, a heretical gospel that the Quran was affirming and and, and talking about. That's what you're saying. I, I get you. I get what you're saying. I have no problem. I, I, I have no problem. With what you're saying. Okay, let me clarify. I was saying heretical from your perspective. See, what I'm saying is, you, from, from a historical perspective, from a Christian perspective, there were a ton of different heretical groups, what you would call heretical groups, who had different books. That's what I was saying. Right? Well, well, now, my, with regards to... Time out, time out, with John, regards... We've got a few minutes. With you saying that, you would agree that the Christians that the Quran is talking about or referring to are heretical in Muhammad's area as well, right? Because they were the ones saying that Jesus is the Son of God. They, they, Her heretical they are, just means they don't agree with the Athanasian Creed. Right? Exactly. That's well, that's what that's what that's the point I'm making. Just a different version of Christianity. With, with regards to, with regards to who they were 
and what their beliefs were and what their books were, this is open for discussion. This needs research. And we can debate that with Sam, okay? Because Sam's yeah. confident that it's the New Testament gospel which is in it, which is in Medina. Right. Sam is very confident. So when you bring Sam on, we can discuss that in detail. Yeah, well, yeah I'll, 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 I'll bring Sam on next time and we'll have a discussion on no problem. The, what the Quran is saying about the angel and the gospel. Maybe the we can find a... We can find like a mediator who, you know, we, we can go tag team. Me and Hamza, you and Sam. We'll have a mediator or maybe one mediator. We, a Jordan's a good mediator. And maybe if you've got a good yeah. Christian mediator, we'll have two mediators. I'm here. You don't need oh, to Oh, Sam. Oh, quick, run, 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 it's Sam. Quick. Yeah. To, I've, got I've got a goal. I've got a goal. Hold on, let me get my goal. We <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the one who has the goal. But... But we'll, we'll hook it up. Definitely. No problem. Like I, said, I look, think we should leave it and we'll have it properly, a proper yeah. debate. Because uh, I've got to go. You've got to go. I've got okay. fasting. Well, let's discuss your... Yeah. Sam, I said something about you earlier, right? Oh, I, never thought, I, I, never th I never thought I would say what? that you, you're the only Christian I've come across recently that okay, actually defends Christianity. That hear, actually defends Christianity. He can't hear you. You can't hear me? No, no. It's What's some headphones on? Echoing. Echoing. What are you saying? I'm so go ahead. Uh, 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 you got your YouTube on. Pause your YouTube. Maybe that what? will help. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's, yeah, just it's to my stop fault. It. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now I can hear you. I'm oh, okay. I was just saying, I was saying something about you earlier that I never thought I'd ever say. That of all the Christians I've come across, yeah, you're the only Christian who has the balls to defend Christianity and, and the actual direct questioning of Christianity. You're the only one. I've never come across anyone who does it apart from you. And I like the confidence you do in doing it as well. That's so, why we uh, want to set. We want Sam. We want to set up a debate. We, uh, God logic was saying, we're going to discuss the Injil, yes, which please. was what the well, Quran is talking about, and also Hamza is going to speak to you about whatever you was going to say about the. Uh, so what, when can we do this? Paul, this Paul, Paul, Paul. I want to talk about Paul. Yeah. When, when are you guys available? Because I'm. I'm. Well. We're, we're, in Ram Ram we're in Ramadan right now, so let's get that. It would be quick. better after Ramadan, maybe okay. about Contact 16, Avery. 17 days. Contact yeah. Avery. He'll set it up and I'll be here. We'll talk about those issues. Mm. Yeah, definitely so. Definitely. Let's okay. do it. Forward to that. I'll wait for you guys. 17 days, you say, and shut up. All right, guys. Sounds, sounds good. Um, do you guys also have like an email or something that I can direct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, do, uh, ask hamzasden at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Okay, so in Sharab, in 17 days, he'll let me know and I'll be here. You say, shut up in 17 days. I'll give you yeah. a shout out. Say, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Give me a shout out or a shout out. out. He says, shout out. Shout out. Is that a shout out? All right. All right, so ask Hamza. All right. Ask Hamza's Den. Okay. Hamza's Den. At, at gmail.com. Okay. At gmail.com. Okay, then I'll see you guys later because you were mentioning me, so I came up. But then, God willing, in seven after 17 days, we'll be waiting. Inshallah. Okay. It'll be good. Right. Yes. Sounds okay. good, you guys. Hey, thanks for coming on. Thanks for being respectful. Thanks for it's it was fun. I'll tell you that. We've got passion and stuff like that, but I, I like that. You you never insulted or disrespected. So I appreciate that, Hamza. Uh is what it's not, it's not what we do. It's not yeah. what we do. But okay. I can I ask you a question before I leave. Sure, man. I just want to read something from your Bible. I just want you to explain oh to my. what you think. No, it's a quick <laughs> one. It's, you it's a quick one. I just want to understand one thing. One no, you one see this, man. It's a quick one. It's a quick Save one. it, Hamza. Je just have to say this. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, oh, I suppose really? that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. What does that mean? I love you too, man. But what does that mean? What does uh, that mean? It, 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 it means there were other things that he said and did that were not recorded. Oh, oh so by he could have said by, things by, that are not recorded. By, by the no. apostles. Okay, yeah, cool. by, by right. the apostles, which you don't believe. Uh, okay, you know. cool, cool, cool. No, but as a Christian perspective, you believe Jesus said many other things that weren't yeah, recorded. Yeah? yeah, that would not include him mentioning Muhammad. No, but you don't know that because he could have. Yeah, we you do. Don't know. Because, because you're saying that Muhammad, that the apostles didn't write about this. No, 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 no. So Jesus, no, no, no. Match. According to the Gospel of John, Jesus said many other things that were not mm -hmm. written down. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So yeah. he could have said that, but just wasn't written down. No, he could not have said that. Why not? Because it's written by the apostles and talking about another messenger would have contradicted himself. So. No. Jesus tells you people coming after well, him. Wait, I, 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 I have to go. But doesn't Jesus I, talk about a prophet coming after him? No, he doesn't. Doesn't he say test the prophets to see if they're truthful? 
knowing that they're false prophets, test the false prophets. So he says that there will be false prophets that come after him, not true Is there true prophets that come after him? No, not true. So why would you test them? They'd all be false, wouldn't they? Well, well yes. And it's, so, that's what you do. So, no, but if you're testing someone to see if they're true or not, it means... But also, but also, but also here's another thing, though, Hamza, because on, when, when, when it comes to the word prophet or prophecy, uh, there's people that have the gift of prophecy that the Holy Spirit gives them, spiritual gift of prophecy, and, and it's proclaiming. It's really just proclaiming the message and stuff like that. That's what it means in the New Testament. So there's oh, nuance so. with the word prophet and prophecy. Oh, so, so, okay. Uh, okay. So it's not apparently literal. It's the apparent. Okay. Just a second. Just a second. Just for your people in the chat, yeah. No one's running. Yeah. Avery has to go. <laughs> and yeah. we already said uh, he had like seven minutes left. Yeah. And we, we, we called Sam up because me and John want to arrange tag team with him. I want he want you want to speak about this NGO thing. I want to speak about Paul. So mm -hmm. I've got my own agenda. John's got his own agenda. We'll tag team it. Yeah. Because you know. I can see God Logic wants to try to challenge uh, John on the NGO flex. And I want to challenge both of you on Christianity. Now, I know Sam thinks he has some answers. Fine. But I, like I said to you, I've only seen him defending Christianity. That's why I'm happy to engage him. Because to be honest with you, just as a past, I never wanted to get involved with him and give him kind of leverage and, and anything. Because he kind of just for some reason he can't help himself but saying deriding things during the conversation he just just can't help it he just throws them in here there and for me it's not my style i don't, I don't roll with that i deal with what well, we don't we don't you know ad hominem we don't need to you know no rhetoric let's just deal with the questions and the answers i like the way you deal bro i, I really do enjoy the way you ask questions because you're very similar to me the way you isolate yeah. things and break it down i like it yeah that I, I, I'll, I'll say that about you as well. I was, I was watching you before I started the YouTube channel, and I watched a lot of your videos. And I, I will be real; I, I'm not a hater. I like I like your style of how you cut, you know, through the argument. I, I do. Well, you remind me of me, bro. You remind me of me. Just <laughs> I have the truth, so that's the difference. Oh, uh, look at you! <laughs> <laughs> but all right, man. Well, thanks for coming. Anyway, bro. yeah, it's been real. Thanks for having us, man. And and thanks for not doing that stoop. Don't do that poll thing, man. It looks really bad, man. Uh, I'll, I'll only do the poll if it's worth it. You no, you no, know? but you, no, but no disrespect. Well, no, with disrespect. Sorry, your 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 chat can't be trusted to make a, a an objective. Yes, they um, can. Absolutely, they're so biased. It's unreal, bro. You can't no. ask these people. Oh, bro. Okay, I'm wait, I'm I've wait. never seen them. I've never seen them once say, "Yeah, keep this guy." No, no, no. There, there actually have been. Rubbish. Now, now, let me ask you this, Hamza. Let me ask you. So, Rubbish. when did uh have you have you watched like the last stream or anything like that? Like, let me know. Um, I I was watching some on TikTok, but I couldn't join the okay. lies because my I'm banned on the lies. But okay. um, I, I was watching. And some guy was making kind of sense. And then you're right, let's do the poll. And I'm like, what are you doing the poll for? Wait, you, think he, you think he was making sense? One of the guys, yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I think so. What, what about I, the I, other ones where I said start the poll? I, I think personally, I think personally, no disrespect to you, because you, you're not you're pretty new to doing this, isn't it? You're not you've been doing this years and years and years. Correct, correct. All right. I think you're gonna struggle when you come under the scrutiny of Christianity. I, I really do. When the questions get asked properly, like for example, you try to hold words literal to us, like everything. I'm gonna say only, kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll, um, and we'll break that down. I'll, yeah. I'll show you, you know. I, I hope you do. I hope you know what? I hope you do because I have this uh, thing. So if I'm debating somebody, right, and I bring an argument. So there was one argument I used to use, and the the angel will come and speak to the one who said, said read, and he says I cannot read. And Muslims have used this in the past to go to Christians saying this is Muhammad because he he the angel came to him and told him to read and he said I cannot read. Mm -hmm. But when you read it in context, he's like, wait a minute. And then it says the one's coming to the one who can read, but the, the book is sealed. And, and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is not quite it. So I take that argument back then and I won't use that argument again. Mm -hmm. I only use arguments that are rock solid, that, that yeah. can't be that have no chinks in the armor. Yeah. yeah. And I promise you that that from what I've understood. So if you're somebody who thinks you can take the argument and break it down, you do me a favor. I'm planning mm. to write a book about Paul, for example. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I know taking out Paul takes out every version of Christianity. Okay. So I want you to refute what I say. I want you to try to refute what I say. It's like an yeah. acid test for my arguments. Yeah. 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 Uh, for sure. So I have, I have no issues with that. You know, and people might think, oh, they see me angry, you know, like in these YouTube videos and I'm always aggressive. And, and then they see me here and they, oh, look at him, all pandery, all smiley, all this. No, this is me. This is how I am. But it's environments, you see. You go to Speaker's Corner, you go into an arena, you go into a place of opinionated debate where everyone yeah. thinks they're right. Yeah? yeah. And they've all gone there 
to prove they're right, yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. You know, it's like you know, you know what it's like. You know, people that read these comments are, oh, he's so aggressive. They're like, I imagine I'm going to a boxing match. Oh, stop punching him in the face! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a boxing match, mate. So that's the, that's the whole point. So yeah, anyway, yeah. so when they see me in my natural environment, just chilling about, doing my live streams in my shop, this, that, the other, mm. or, or like this now, they oh, look at him sucking up to Sam. No, I said that long before Sam was here. Yeah, and I said it to yeah. other people before that as well because I was shocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, by that yeah. particular point, yeah? yeah. Just be yeah. honest, I am a nice guy. I'm not a bad guy at all, yeah? I'm a defender well, of the truth. You, and, you, you, seem, you seem all right so far, man. I'm, an, I'm a nice guy. I, I don't do vindictiveness. I don't do uh, toxic stuff. I don't do um, swearing and insults. I don't roll with this one. Yeah. I, I just deal with the argumentation, and I don't care who's saying the argument. I care what the argument is yeah. and why they believe the argument is true. Yeah. And then we take it apart. And look, I don't profess to know everything. There may be things you've asked me today that I'm like, oh, top of my head, looking at this. Mm, it kind of <laughs> seems like that. I could go away. Someone go, Hamza, Hamza, what? I said, you answered that question, yeah? No, no, no. Mm. Here's what it means. So yeah. the next time that question comes, then I'll have the answer for you. Or yeah. I've understood it. Or, or why yeah. we understand it in the way we do. And there's, you know there's no shame in that, man. There's no yeah, shame. Yeah, yeah. I, I am not one of these people that has to answer everything on the spot and make stuff up just to be right in the conversation. I'm going to go, whoa, I don't know. Man. That's a good yeah. question. Let me let me consider that. And then I'll go away, come back. Actually, I've considered that, and here's the response. Because mm. you're going to do a lot of that when I come after Christianity. Do you know who <laughs> I am? Do you know who I am, Avery? I'm the guy, right? I'm, I'm telling you, right? I'm the guy. <laughs> Who has to tell little Charlie Bucket, you know, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Yeah. yeah so I'm the guy, I'm the guy who knocks on Charlie's door, and Grandpa Joe, right? The night before Willy Wonka's uh, big opening, yeah? And I'm the guy that knocks on the door to tell him it's a fake, mate. All the tickets are fake. That's me. I'm that guy. Yeah. So uh, I break hearts to make hearts, inshallah. Anyway, Avery, thanks for having me, man. Much appreciated. No, thanks for um, and, you, and thanks for not doing that stupid poll. I appreciate that. <laughs> you don't do that stupid. I, I see people in the chat. Do the poll. Do the poll. There was yeah, no, no reason. Yeah. There was no reason through any no. part of this conversation from beginning Correct. to end where you should even consider get rid of Correct. this guy. Correct. Get rid of this guy. He's I, I not agree. listening. He's... I, I I agree. However, I do think that the ones that are saying start the. I don't think they were serious. If they were, I think that I think they were serious. If they, I were, think they were serious, serious. Then you you got a point. Like, come on, guys. Like, I, that's what I'm was, thinking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I seen I, it, I and I was like, I really? They're, serious. they're saying start the poll now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start the poll now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, no, we're going enjoy. now. Anyway. All right, man. Thanks for having me. All right, take care, man. Take care. Be lucky. Peace. You kicking me or shall I leave? Uh, I'm, I'm leaving myself, so I think it all matters. Well, yeah, I got to end the stream, actually. Go on. I'll, I'll give you the pleasure of kicking me because not many people get to kick me. Yeah, get out of here, son. Get out of here, man. All right, guys. Um, it looks like a lot of Sam's still here. It looks like he want to say something right when I'm leaving. You want to say something, Sam, right when we're leaving? Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to. I thought he's going to continue the discussion. I didn't think because they said they left, but now he left. Yeah, 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 I just want to be clear for the record. And you can go watch my videos. You can see when someone's respectful and kind, I'm very respectful and kind, and I don't attack. I attack those who mock, blaspheme, slander, ridicule and try to humiliate Christians and the Bible. You can see my debates. When someone's respectful, I'm respectful. But make sure, because they want to now delay it after Ramadan. So I don't know then why did they do this live now, but please make sure after 17 days, you set it up, God willing. We're going to talk about what the Quran says about the angel, and he wants to talk about Paul. Ay vey, he's going to be in sad shape if he talks about paul not only historically but what his own sources teach but god willing after 17 days dude let me know yeah because i knew you were discussing with them but i just was in the background i didn't want to rain on your parade uh -huh. but then when they called me out right? <laughs> but anyway you let me know and set it up right yeah i got you sam all right you know, i don't care what they say about you you're okay in my book. <laughs> You're okay to me too, man. All right, buddy. Peace. You're okay to me too. All right, guys. With that being said, man, thank you everybody for showing up. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this stream today. We had, uh, you know, two special guests, man. We got, you know, a couple members from Hamza's Den that, that showed up and uh, gave a good discussion. There was no disrespect, no, 
No, no, you know, a little bit of trash talk, a little passion, but not, you know, it's it's, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what I like. I, I like when we can be passionate, we can be ourselves, joke still, uh, while at the same time, you know, having a real discussion. So uh, shout out. I got to give like, you know, give props to John and, and Hamza for that. So, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be talk. We'll be in touch. Um, Sam and I will be having a discussion with Hamza and John seems like after Ramadan is over. So you guys be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a good one. Um, so, yeah, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe so that you guys don't miss that. Subscribe on YouTube, TikTok family. Make sure you guys subscribe on YouTube. Um, tell me about your favorite moments in the comment section. Tell me about your your favorite part. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to see what you guys thought about this for real. Um, this was this was long. I'm gonna probably gonna cut this up and um, <clears throat> make it its own video as well when they came on. So uh, we we did cover and talk about a lot. So, but yeah, thanks for coming on. Thanks you guys. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure the stream gets everywhere. All right. And with that being said, you guys be blessed. Serve the one true God, who's triune, which is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Peace.